And now, get ready for a world of fun with Amazing Adventures. We'll be right back after these messages. It's the Nabisco thing. The Nabisco thing comes on Nabisco thing. Cool cookies like chips of horn. Look at them go. Hey, hey, wherever you find the Nabisco thing, you'll find a chance to meet the Power Rangers live. Yes, you. You could look for details on specially marked packages of Chips Ahoy cookies. Yep, for a no-purchase entry, you could write to this address. 250 winners. Must be 17 years and younger. Cool. Warning, warning. Steve, Dr. Piranoid changed four Anderson brothers into huge creatures. Half-man, half-shark. Three shark, four heroes. Rinser, Blade. Jam, Hooch, and Big Slamu, fighting to stop Dr. Piranoid and his evil creations. Time to go spear fishing. Each sold separately. Go fish, blowfish! Three sharks, they bite, they fight, they kick some serious spears. Jawsome! Here at the Creation Station, you're invited to the grand opening of Graham Central, where we make new dino fruit and crazy crunch. Super creamy yogurt with crazy fake honey or chocolate graham. Everyone's buzzed over our humongous honey zipper, and our chocolate mixer is stirring up the crowd. Chocolate grams and grape yogurt? Crazy! And the inspiration for our crazy faces? The Super Spatial Facial Machine! It's crazy! New Yen and Sprinklin's Crazy Crunch. It's the craziest taste you ever put in your face. And now we return to more amazing adventures. Scratch, Grounder, here he comes. Get ready. Ah! Oh boy, I'm sure glad Dr. Robotnik is watching. I know we're going to catch Sonic this time. Activate the supersonic sucking vacu ray! Whoa! Yikes! Oh, oh they got me! We did it! He stopped in his tracks! <laughs> Yay! Hooray! Whoa! He's coming! The hedgehog's coming right back at us! Alright! <laughs> we downed a to boulder too! We're gonna get smushed! Shut it off! Of! I can't! It's stuck! Quick! Aim it up! Good idea! <laughs> We're safe! The boulder stopped! Yeah. Oh, you know. oh, oh, oh. What the It's impossible to build good health these days! Please, Dr. Robotnik! We apologize! Let us in! Yeah! Explore the drawbridge! We're rusty! Why can't I find a helper as vicious, mean, and underhanded as myself? Someone as much like me as my own son. That's it! I'll build myself a son! Look! He's letting us in! Maybe he likes us again! Then again! Maybe not! 
one final adjustment, and I'll finally have someone I can trust, someone to carry on my rotten ways. Behold, Robotnik Jr. Hey, ugly dude, who are you? I'm your father. Big whoop. <laughs> your nastiness. Can we come in? Yeah, we've been practicing another great apology. Just get your miserable metal behinds in here. I need witnesses to this historic moment. Feast your eyes on the most wonderful sun any man has ever built. Uh, Dr. Robotnik? There's something you should know! Yeah, next time you sit down, you're gonna get graffiti all over your chair. What? Ah! You miserable, no-good, thankless brat! You're just like me when I was your age. Perfect! Here's a little something to help you follow in my footsteps, Junior. Ah! Cool ride! Let's steal it! Don't have to. It's yours. Let's steal it anyway. Isn't it wonderful? He's rotten. He's evil. He's mean. He makes me feel so proud. Someday, Junior, all this will be yours to plunder, to terrorize, to conquer. But first, we're going camping. See this peaceful meadow? It's the perfect campsite. Scratch, grounder, cover it with asphalt. Asphalt? Of course. We need some place to park our egomatic RV. Then we'll need to lay down a freeway so we can get down there. And while we're at it, we might as well construct an airport to cut down on all the peace and quiet. Come, Junior! We'll wait here while they get the great outdoors ready for our camping. Look, Sonic! Smoke! And you know what they say. Where there's smoke... There's Robotnik! Right! Hang tight, Keed! I'm off to clean the air! Oh, oh it's no fear! Dr. Robotnik never took us camping. Oh, face it! Junior's his favorite now! Huh? Huh? Uh -oh. Hey! Get out of the way! We got orders to pay this meadow! Well, it's a good thing I caught you. I'm from the Asphalt Supply Company. So? We've ordered a recall. The stuff's defective. What's defective about it? It's not sticky. It's not? See for yourself. I will. You're nuts. This stuff is perfectly sticky. See, I can't even move. You're right. My mistake. It's the steamroller that's defective. Yeah? What's wrong with it? It jumps in a reverse without warning. Hey, hey watch, it. watch it! Watch it! Oh, what's that loud, obnoxious noise? No, it's just what this place needed. Ah! What's the meaning of this? Try a tent next time you go camping. At least they're collapsible. Why you? Why me? Because it's what I do best. So tell me, Robot Twit, who's the ugly kid? That's my son, Junior. And together we're going to stomp you out once and for all. Like father, like son. Slow. <laughs> I hate that hedgehog! Who is that, Pops? Sonic the Hedgehog, my arch enemy. But enough of this. Playtime is over. It's time to get to work, Junior. Work! A Robotnik's most important work. Can
catching that hedgehog! Pay close attention, Junior. As my son, it is essential that you learn to capture Sonic. Here he is, and this is how we're going to catch him. Riding my twin egomatic motorcycles, Scratch and Grounder will herd the hedgehog into this labyrinth. The only way out is through the underground water reclamation channel. You mean the sewer, right? Of course, and once he's in the sewer, we'll seal him in and flood it. The hedgehog will be a has-been. Aha! Caught you! My son, you're just like me when I was in school. Here they come, right on schedule. I feel kind of guilty knowing I'm about to ruin all their fun. Not. Remember, Junior, as soon as Scratch and Grounder chase Sonic into the labyrinth, slam it shut! Sure, Pops, whatever you say. Trying to trick me into that trap, eh? Well, I'd hate to disappoint them. He's falling for it! We did it! <laughs> we got Sonic at last! Quick! Shut him in! I guess that's the price I have to pay for catching the hedgehog. The price he has to pay? I think I've let them enjoy their moment long enough. And now for a little triple spin. Gotta go for him, He's getting away! Big whoop, Pops. You didn't make me Robotnik Jr. for nothing. I put in an extra trap door to the sewer. Out there. Hey! What happened to my traction? Isn't this the... Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. There I was with Bunny, mixing up some quick. When magically we were in the laboratory of the mad Dr. Foolish, who was turning the world's chocolate to Brussels sprouts. We have to stop him. I'll distract him with some quick. Chocolatey quick. Ah, chocolatey quick. Ah, my machine. We sure pulled the plug on this one. Nestle quick. It's magic in the making. Turn Nestle Quick chocolate milk into a wiggly wacky snack. Quick Quivers, recipe on specially marked packages. Watch me trick flip. Cocoa Pebbles. Ah, cartoon Man, how'd you do that? Give me your Cocoa Pebbles and I'll show you. Uh, okay. Mmm, tongue twisting chocolatey taste. Bonnie, you're no cartoon. <laughs> Wanna bet? Who's Cocoa Pebbles cereal, part of this complete breakfast? Now, only from Pebbles, a dinosaur of a different <gasps> color. Mine turned green. Mine turned purple. Wow. All color-changing dinosaurs. One free in each month box of Pebble cereal. Like the banana berry and raspberry lemonade. <laughs> Wacky fruit. These gummies definitely move to a different beat. And now we return to more amazing adventures. Seal him in. Almost. If you don't take better care of your body parts, I'm not going to replace them next time. Sorry, Dr. Robotnik. 
You would better be sorry. And you'd be in big trouble if I wasn't so happy. Because the hedgehog is finally history! <laughs> so, Pops, since you don't need your super special Sonic Search and Smash Squad anymore, let's do something really mean to him. Junior, you're brilliant. From now on, you dumbbots are on laundry duty. <gasps> if Profonic thinks I'm all washed up, <gasps> he's got another spin cut. Thanks, kid. Gee, Sonic, oh. what happened? You look kind of flushed. Yeah, you could say that. Oh, this stinks. We're hedgehog chasers, not laundry butts. No, oh, it's all Junior's fault. No, 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 no not the spin, spin, spin cycle. As soon as the whites are done, we're going to get rid of that Junior jerk. You should be proud, Junior. You come from a long line of Robotniks, even if you are the first one made in the lab. And to show how proud I am of you, I'm going to reward you with a day of fishing. What's fishing? No, oh, it's another one of those father-son bonding things where we get to know each other better and bridge the generation gap. Yeah? Yes, I think I'll have Scratch and Grounder take you. This looks like a good spot. Let's fish here. Back it up, Grounder. What's with the cement mixer? We're gonna fill in the pond with cement. That way the fish won't have any room to escape your hook. And Junior won't be able to escape us. Junior! You better make sure the cement mixture is right. Now! Hey! That'll show you, you little creep. Now we can get off laundry duty. Help! Help me, somebody! I hear my cue. Sonic to the rescue! Hey, you metallic meatheads! <gasps> Not Sonic! Hey, I thought he was gone for good! Well, 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 look what the hedgehog dragged in. Robotnik synthesized son. Yeah, and you're that hedgehog my pop hates so much. Big whoop. Fast whoop, too, if you'll excuse me. Hey, robots, you want to mix it up, eh? No! If you'd like to thank me for saving your life, I accept chili dogs. Yeah, like how come you did that anyway? You're our enemy. We don't have to be. Those guys don't look like such good friends. So? I'm bad and I got bad friends. Maybe, but remember, Keen, if your friends are bad, sooner or later they're gonna be bad to you too. I can handle myself. Like the way you just handled yourself when they kicked you into the cement mixer? Scratch and Grounder kicked me? Hmm. Get away from my son, Hedgehog! I'm saving you, Junior! Big whoop! Hey, Sonic! Thanks! Hey, just making a point. Maybe you've been hanging with the wrong crowd. Stop the robot attack! Yes, save us too! Oh. Guess that kid's not all bad after all. Just because his dad is the meanest, ugliest, cruelest, lionest, nastiest Budnick villain ever to live, doesn't mean he has to be. Come on!
I'll teach Sonic not to mess with my kid. Get real, Pops. Sonic wasn't the one messing with me. It was... Shut up, son. Can't you see I'm scheming? I'm telling you, Sonic helped me. <laughs> my boy, you're not well. You're feverish. You're imagining things. My boy is losing his mind. He thinks Sonic helped a Robotnik. Scratch, grounder, quick, call a doctor. You're the only doctor we know. Give me a break, would ya? There's nothing wrong with me. I'm telling ya, Sonic helped me. It was these two who... Whoa! Hey! 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 You're right, Doctor. Junior's sick. Sick! Gotta keep him tightly bandaged. Don't want him to hurt himself. <laughs> Ew, look at those eyes. He's definitely sick. There's only one cure that works for a Robotnik. Revenge! It's time to unleash my Extendo Tower Solar Focusing Lens Ray and bake Sonic like a bug. <laughs> the Extendo Tower will rise into the atmosphere and bend the rays of the sun into an intense beam which will scorch Sonic once and for all! Is everything ready? Well, there's one little problem. What problem? It's just that we weren't able to focus the lens right. You mean it won't zap the hedgehog? Oh, it'll zap Sonic, all right. But it'll incinerate a hundred square miles around him, too. So we fry a few innocents. That's not a problem. That's a bonus. <laughs> Prepare to extend the lens. You'll have a perfect view of the action from here. No need to thank me, son. You'll feel much better when Sonic is wiped out. I know I will. Hey! If I can fly between Sonic and the lens, I can block the beam and save him. Goodbye, Sonic! <laughs> Looks like trouble. Big trouble. Any second now, and it'll be Sonic sizzled. Junior is in the way! No! You've activated the beam, you fool! Junior is doomed! Oops! <laughs> Junior! He's right in the way of that thing! The magical stabilizers have failed! Is that bad? You did it! You saved Junior! Not only that, he saved me! How about that? I did something good! Junior, where are you? Get in here, young man, and stop doing what I tell you to before I disown you! Big whoop! I'm disowning you! From now on, I'm on Sonic's side! Way to go, Junior! Way to go! I hate that hedgehog! Amazing adventures will be right back after these messages. Days at 5.30 on Fox 
Oh, fuck off, oh, fuck. And it's puffed up chocolatey taste. Ha, not us. We're strong. We're fuck. We're tough. I still bet you go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, the puffed up chocolatey part of this one, frankly. Yeah. Yeah. It's a Dunkin' Yo-Yo. It glows in the dark. It's got Sonny's face, and it's free with two proofs. Details on more boxes of Cocoa Puffs. Name, Baby Huey. Last team, down on the farm. Yeah, wait for me! Accused of general confidence and busting up everyone's good time. <gasps> He's big for his age. Distinguishing uh, feature, uh, large, very large. It's spotted, keep a cattle eye on him. Considered one hilarious duck. You want to make me crazy? For more details, watch the Baby Huey Show. Repeat the Baby Huey Show. Sunday mornings at 7.30 on Fox 45, 48. And now, the top three reasons to watch Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Number three. No assembly required. And number two. More fun than a pie in the face. And the number one reason to watch Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, it's free! Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Batteries not included. Sonic the Hedgehog, weekdays at 8 on Fox 45, 48. We're back for the conclusion of our exciting, amazing adventures episode. But Sonic's my friend! Sonic, look out! It's a trap! <laughs> you did the right thing, Junior. Never do anything you don't think is right, even if other guys say it's cool. That's called peer pressure. Next Friday, right after Batman and Robin on Fox Kids. And now a message from the Totally Kids Earth Crew team. This is Susan Sweat and Tom Bray. Look at those teeth. We're traveling up the Nile River in Africa for Adventure Earth Crew. A mission by the children of the planet to seek out and help protect the animals of the Earth. Crocodiles once lived all along the Nile. They've got a reputation as man-eaters. But that doesn't stop hunters from killing them for their skins. Actually, they're worth far more to the balance of life in the world's longest river. Their diet is mainly fish, and they help keep the river healthy. Today, the Turkana people still teach their children to respect them. And even this giant can be gentle. When this baby is out of his egg, what kind of a future will he face? An Earth Crew Crocodile Watch on the Nile. If you don't look in this Sunday's paper for the Toys R Us Big Toy Book, then you'll miss out on over $1,400 in coupons. And that can put you at a big disadvantage. Lower prices, bigger selection. Guaranteed. Toys R Us has bumble ball bolters. You know what that means. More big bolters bumbling, bumping, and bolting all over the place. Toys R Us, the world's biggest toy store. Yes, siree! Monday, Fox Kids brings you the most morph incredible three-part Power Ranger series ever. I'm just worried about keeping my priorities straight. Is Kim flipping out? No way. It really is the chance of a lifetime. Don't miss your chance to kick back with the Power Rangers for part one of the most morph incredible adventure yet. Monday, right here on Fox Kids. 
And now for another great, amazing adventure. The world and all its treasures shall belong to me, Spydra, once I eliminate Gadget Boy! <laughs> Gadget Boy! He's so much smarter than the rest. Gadget Boy! Cause his gadgets work the best. Amazing adventures will be right back after these messages. I got it. Butterfinger peepees. I never saw these before. Uh, well, I, I gotcha. New Butterfinger baby. <laughs> Unbelievable snackable balls of cool. Christmas Company peanut buttery Butterfinger. <laughs> New Butterfinger Babies! Nobody better lay a finger on my Butterfinger Babies. Come on, come on. Oh, she's talking to me. For so long, I felt so unappreciated, so unloved. I mean, I know she loves a Kellogg's Pop Tarts. Who wouldn't pull that nice, warm, gooey, real fruit filling in a toasted tan crust? But now I know she thinks they're cool because they're hot. I'm a raging inferno of emotion here! Finally. Kellogg's Pop-Tarts, part of this complete breakfast. They're cool. Because they're hot! Mom, this toaster takes forever. Let's get a new one. What? And now we return to more amazing adventures. Scissors. My gadget boy sense tells me that this is a present. Mm, what a nice little toy. A candle. Must be my birthday. Wait here, nice little toy. Zowsers, Bowsers, must be more gifts. Hey, is this some kind of birthday dance, G9? Sometimes you get a birthday present that you don't like, but you should always say thank you. Thank you, nice birthday person. Is Gadget Boy destroyed? And, uh... Hmm. Our jack-in-the-box toy was destroyed. That's not the answer I wanted. But Gadget Boy couldn't tell that it was one of our evil toys. Excellent. My plan to replace good toys with my special remote control evil toys will succeed. They'll go into homes everywhere and do my bidding. Do you know what this means, Boris? It means you deserve a reward. Huh? What would you like most in the world, Boris? A coconut cream pie with a side of potato salad. It's your very own remote control assistant, Boris. Hey! She must be ill. What? Ah, uh, I said, what a thrill! Hello! What's the party hat for, Gadget Boy? I've told him over and over, it's not your birthday. 
We've got a crisis at them. Spiders are replacing good toys with evil remote control toys. So she can infiltrate the homes and control ah. the world's children. Ooh, my fax tie. Go to the humongous toy store. Stop Spider. Eliminate her evil toys before they get out. And let go of my fax tie. Do you have any toys for me, Dabble? It's my birthday, you know. It is not. Actually, I do have some toys for you. I knew it. You just wanted to surprise me. This looks like an ordinary toy steamroller, but... Thanks for remembering my birthday, Dabble. Ooh. It inflates to full size if you push on the horn. Hey! No! No, that's it, boy! Huh? If you want to share my presents, just say so, Chief. And this is for you, Agent Heather. Is it Agent Heather's birthday, too? A harmonica, Myron? Hmm. It's a harmonica signaler, so you can find the Gadget Boy when you get separated. It also plays every hit Bob Dylan ever covered. That's great, Myron. Ah. You shouldn't have, Dabble. Well, you should have. It is my birthday. Is it not? Actually, this gift box automatically traps evil toys inside. Oh, it's empty. Gadget boy, be careful. <laughs> I think Christmases are better than birthdays because everyone gets a present. Ah, poor G9. Nobody remembered your birthday. Here. But there's always a depressed one. And be sure to eliminate the blithering bumbler. I want Gadget Boy dismantled, Humus. Actually, I'm mulch. You'll be mulch if you fail me. Are you sure this is the right bus? It's not very festive for a birthday bus. I can fix that. <laughs> May I take your luggage, please? This baggage handler does look suspiciously familiar. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Hey. There's nothing to be afraid of, G9. Our mass transit system is envied worldwide. Careful with those bags. They're filled with delicate and top-secret materials. <laughs> Settle down, G9. Do dog stuff. Let your tongue flap out the window. Ready for the stink bomb. <sighs> Look out! She's gonna blow! Feeling any better, G9? Keep your head out in that fresh air a while longer. Go, go, Gadget Boy fan! <coughs> a stink bomb! They're trying to choke us! Uh, uh, hey oh, Agent Heather, you should never open the door until the bus has come to a complete stop. There was a stink bomb! Those drivers are Spider's agents, and they were trying to choke us! Nonsense, Agent Heather. G9 is just a little car sick. End of the line, folks. Have a nice day. <laughs> They're Spider's agents, Mulch and Humus. That's great. They've been rehabilitated and found jobs. They're making a contribution to society. But I'll have to have a chat with them about opening doors and a moving vehicle. <laughs> Furthermore, this bus is missing some safety features. Go, go, Gadget Boy seatbelts. Good work, Gadget Boy. It's better to be safe than sorry, Agent Heather. jobs for long the way they drive. Uh, uh, oh. I'll have to remember to report them to the Department of Motor Vehicles. And the lost and found. Where did they go? to my 
my birthday party in that bus. We have to get to the humongous toy store and stop Spider's plan. Stop fidgeting and try to concentrate, G9. Careful you don't go over the speed limit, G9. Quick! We have to round up Spider's evil toys before kids take them home. We don't know how to spot the evil toys. We'll have to check them all. And watch out for Spider agents. Uh, what is it, Gadget Boy? The humongous toy store. Now, this is what I call a birthday. G9, you follow Gadget Boy. <laughs> the bionic bratty boob is walking right into my trap. Wait until my evil toys get their hands on him. <laughs> Gadget Boy has no idea what an army of mayhem and mischief makers I've manufactured. Now say, are you ready for lunch, Boris? Are you really a lump, Boris? She still needs a few adjustments. Came from a dysfunctional nest. Yes, your splendidness? Enjoy your new toy. Through my toys, soon I will have control over every child in the world. Well, are you ready for a punch, Boris? Uh, whatever you say, dear. Way to go, go, Gadget Boy surprise birthday party. Ah, oh, you shouldn't have. But I'm glad you did. Trick candles. I love trick candles. Hey! It's me, G9. I'll go undercover as a teddy bear to check out the toys. You keep an eye on Gadget Boy. Go, go, Gadget Boy next! These toys are too violent. I think I'd prefer these stuffed animals. Go, go, Gadget Boy legs! There they are! Spider implanted in the evil toys. Maybe I can jam her frequency with Myron's harmonica signaler. Oh no! Wish me happy birthday, teddy bear person. Gadget boy, look out! Whoa. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing adventures will be right back. Mom, you gotta have a look. See at all the gypsy jewel adventures of my little Nancy. He wraps up tigers in his darling pajamas, all soars through the sky in a suit. I'm just busting my buttons when my body's on his bike. I'm smart and strong. He's the greatest little tiger. He's so fast, I can bet. A mother dream come true. Can I have an owl here? All the bolder than you. What a little cowboy. I'm glad you did. Catch Bobby's World weekdays right here on Fox Kids. Bobby's World, weekdays at 7.30 on Fox 35, 48. Tricks! <gasps> Bursting with sweet, colorful fruitiness! So colorful! You can taste it with your eyes! <gasps> Raspberry red tricks! My eyes are playing tricks. Tricks? A colorful part of this nutritious breakfast! Orangey orange! Yeah. 
boxes of tricks, lifesavers, super holes. I'm Odd Stoner. How do you think they cram all that gram taste into Golden Grams? Okay. There's this island of giants. And these cargo planes drop huge bales of graham crackers. And these giants crush them into those little squares. So they're like, packed with gram taste. Touch with a dab of hot cream. Golden Grams are part of this complete breakfast. <laughs> this is serious, serious. Man, you two dudes are huge. And golden grams are crammed with grams. This is our mom. Shoes off the table. She's got eyes in the back of her head. Yes, but can she see why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Is that on TV? Get a clue, Mom. Any kid can see the intense taste of cinnamon and sugar swirled all over every bite. I see that. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, part of this complete breakfast. Mom doesn't miss much. Now you can eat with your fingers, with funky fun finger spoons. One in each specially marked box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And now we return to more amazing adventures. Go, go, Gadget Boy Toy Mouse! Good job, Secret Agent Mouse. That was too close. I must trounce the terrible dwarf once and for all before he ruins my beautiful plan. A true and tantalizing trait, oh terrifying tyrant. Having fun, Boris? This is the best gift I ever had. And I might add the only gift I ever had. Oh, oh did I say only gift? I meant I was lonely until the gift. That's it, lonely. And you'll be lonelier unless Gadget Boy is stripped for parts. Uh, and now for your viewing pleasure, may I present Ms. Humanitarian of the Year. Aha! Caught in the act of delivering evil toys. Obviously one of Spider's henchmen. I saw him first, G9. I get to make the color. You're not fooling anyone with these evil teddy bears. What's the meaning of this? You're under arrest. And we've got to do something about that haircut. There. Now you look like a model prisoner. Eat this counts. Hmm. Now hold it right there, Sonny. There's something hidden inside. Oh, my toys. Oh. oh, my beautiful teddy bears are destroyed. And the store is opening in less than an hour. Gadget Boy, this man is the store owner. These toys aren't evil. They're nice. Aha. The teddy bear ringleader. All of you. Gadget Boy, it's me, Agent Heather. That's a bear faced lie. Agent Heather isn't a bear and she would never lie. I'm taking you all in. Come along peacefully and no bear hugs. Hey. Spydra has created an evil clone of Agent Heather. Spydra's really not a nice person. Ah, a vulture could get used to this life. <laughs> Or not. Come, Boris. We have to get to the toy store to witness my victory. I'll catch up with you later. Oh, ooh, ow, ooh, ow. Now is good. Now is fine. Don't worry. Boris isn't going anywhere without my snookum wookums. Now, Boris. <laughs> Me help, Boris, dear. What do you say, Boris? <laughs> nice job. <laughs> G9, where's Gadget 
boy. <laughs> Quick, find him, G9. A clue. I'm on the trail of more evil toys. Hmm. Zowzers, Bowsers, what a surprise party. I hope there's enough cake and ice cream for the whole regiment. Gadget Boy's time has come at last, my minions. Neutralize him forever! <laughs> they seized Gadget Boy. My toy terror's tremendous triumph is at hand! <laughs> Tell that to my snook and wookums. Thanks, fellas. I always need a good stretch. Hmm. Now that you're done with Gadget Boy, destroy all the nice toys. Don't worry, snookums. You'll be your old self in no time. Customers will have to buy my Spydra controlled evil toys. No fair, you big blow. <laughs> Soldier, you can't do that to my dog. No dogs or actors allowed. Party or not, if they don't want my dog, they don't want me. Go, go, gadget boy retractors. Boy to the rescue! Bowsers, Bowsers! You're not very nice, toy soldiers. Lead me to my faithful doggy, please. Don't worry, G9. Your boy is always on duty. I'll save you. I've got to find Gadget Boy. Great! We're getting warm! I'm coming, Gadget Boy! That must be Gadget Boy! Those toy soldiers don't play fair! Exactly, Gadget Boy! Those are Spydra's evil toys! Just testing your alertness, Agent Heather! Knowledge is power! It's awfully quiet around here. No problem, Agent Heather. Gadget Boy, the harmonica signaler is activating the evil toys. Just like in the Pied Piper story. Exactly, Gadget Boy. Boy. What a well-trained dog, G9. You always let me know when you need to go out. It can't be that bumbling bionic brat has beaten. I guess this would be a bad time to ask for a new toy. Not at all. Ah! Take your pick. Thank you, Gadget Boy. You can come back anytime. And happy birthday. It's not his birthday. I mean, uh, you've done it again, Gadget Boy. You and the Agent Heather never failed to amaze me. Ah! Sorry. 
we don't open for another hour. <laughs> Amazing adventures will be right back after these messages. Now Marshmallow Alphabets has even more two-in-one marshmallows. How do you make so many? Eat the word bounce and find out. Lots more flavor, lots more fun. Now in every bowl, lots more two-in-one. Mmm, excellent. Marshmallow Alphabet cereal now with more marshmallows as part of this good breakfast. Look who's here. Free Rugrat stickers, eight and all. You can put them where you want and have a ball. <laughs> Free stickers and mark boxes of alphabets and marshmallow alphabets. This is wise, guy. I'm frequency jamming, so listen quick. Before you know who shuts me down. You want to be a wise guy? Well, you got to know this. Quiz whiz. Very cool questions and very hot answers. The that they don't want you to know. Like Madonna's movies, Moses Malone's paycheck. What's Prince's real name? Stuff like that. Answer the right answer. Yeah. Play with friends, Open up play it alone. You got a quiz whiz to be a wise guy. Quiz whiz comes with a thousand and one questions. Over 20 other books and cartridges sold separately. Batteries not included. Hey, hey inside every bite of berry berry cake. Hey, he's going for it. It's enough berry flavor. Incredible. To bury you with taste. Hey, he's Jeff, he's going for more. That's because your favorite berry flavors are packed into every berry bit. Strawberry, raspberry, cherry, and grape. Oh, I tell you, this kid is motivated. It's Berry Berry Kicks, a very buried part of this good breakfast. It's up. It's in. One bite. Now oh, it is gone. And you'll get buried. You may leave North Carolina's mountains once you've finished vacationing here. But one thing's for sure. Carolina's mountains will never leave you. The reviews are in! Awesome. Unbelievable. War. See the show that's sweeping the nation! Oh, the applause. And the big goof who made the mess! It's Goof Troop! Weekday mornings at 9 on Fox 45 48. Surf's up, Fox Kids! Get ready for the summer issue of Totally Kids splashing down in your home soon! You'll get to hang 10 with this swimsuit spectacular! Catch away with this neato tick pull up poster! Collect these key Spider Man trading cards! Dive into this exciting exclusive X Men comic! And so many incredible things to do! So keep a lookout because Totally Kids is on its way! Oh, whole last second on Fox Clubhouse, kids. Dance music dropping, the gangs are bopping. So if you want a great feeling, here's where it is. Weekdays at 2.30 on Fox 2548. We're back for the conclusion of our exciting, amazing adventures episode. Shortstop for the Winston-Salem Warthogs baseball team. And I have a message for all the Fox 45 Kids Club members. Every time you visit the ballpark this season, show your Fox 45 Kids Club membership card at the box office, and you will receive $2 off the general admission ticket. So come out and enjoy America's favorite pastime, baseball at Ernie Shore Field, with the Winston-Salem Warthogs and Fox 45-48. These are the ultimate aliens, the new beings, the master race. Neo-sapiens are the superior species. They have a plan for the future of the human species. We will destroy them. These are space warriors, star fighters, human heroes. If we join forces, we can defeat them. It's a galactic confrontation. Exo Squad. Exo Squad, weekday mornings at 6 on Fox 45, 48. Everyone in Jersey is Minneapolis. Going. And now for another great, amazing adventure. Oh, 
a warm tropical island in a blue sparkling sea and a happy sailor and friends who call it their home and you think with sun and a sunny beach what a perfect life we could see but you'll have to see for yourself the places they roam hey -oh. We'll be right back after these messages. When the FBI falls flat, when the CIA strikes up, what's left standing between you and crime? The facts point to one unarguable conclusion. It's Dark Wing Duck. What? Where? Who? When? Sometimes why? So an evil heads your way. I suppose this could be a problem. Just say duck. What? Dark Wing Duck. Next time, try being more specific. Weekday mornings at 8.30 on Fox 35, 48. Watch your television universe undergo a startling transformation. Transformers! As the heroic Autobots and their leader Optimus Prime go metal against metal to stop the evil Megatron and his Decepticon army from ruling planet Earth. It's a journey of incredible adventure and explosive action with 3D computer effects that'll blast you right out of your chair and into hyperspace. Transformers! You will be transformed. Transformers Generation 2. Weekdays at 6.30 on Fox 35, 48. This is LEGO System Launch Command. Prepare for liftoff. Roger. 10. Assemble shuttle. Check. 9. Activate transport unit. 8. Roger. 7. Connect shuttle boosters. 6. We have connection. 5. Retract booster oh, arm. She's in the clear. And ignite engines. We One. have liftoff. LEGO System Launch Command. It's out there. LEGO Mania! Launch Command. Exciting new sets to collect from LEGO System. Each sold separately. And now we return to more amazing adventures. Drivers on the starting line, are you ready? Ready! Drivers, start your engines. Vroom, 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 vroom. Sounds like you could use a tune-up, AJ. No way. On, on your marks, mark, get set. Today's race is a contest between two legendary veterans of the fast lane to the winner's circle, AJ and Koki. <laughs> As they come around the first turn, AJ is in the lead, but Koki is moving up fast. Yeah. There at the second turn, and Koki's coming on strong. Wow, what a race. <laughs> Koki's really flying. Now they're neck and neck. Who's going to cross the finish line first? That's the question. Neither one. This race is history, folks. Gosh, you mean nobody won? I'd say they <gasps> both did. You're always a winner when you give it your best shot. Great race, guys. Yeah, but a short one. I wish that wheel hadn't broken. The wheel's one of man's greatest inventions. An invention so perfect that no one's improved the design since the first one I gave the cavemen. Carlos! Are you trying to tell us that you invented the wheel? I believe that he was around during prehistoric times. It's perfectly logical. Yep, I even made friends with the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs had brains about the size of a pea, you see. That's why Carlos fit right in. <laughs> Very funny, Oscar. So you don't believe I was really there, huh? Well, then I'll prove it. We'll go back to prehistoric times. And you'll see what happened at the dawn of history. Come on. in the time of the cavemen. The world wasn't nearly as nice a place as it is now. You might just get eaten by a dinosaur. Don't worry, Grandma. We know how to handle them. It's an awfully dangerous place. Are you sure about this, Carlos? Listen, guys, it's up to you. If anyone's afraid to go, just say so. Hey, we're not afraid of anything. Oh? We're 
afraid of a few dinosaurs, we're going. Well, it's risky, but since that's the way you feel about it, you're going to need the right raft. And I just happen to have one on hand. Ah, now. Yep, I think this one will be just perfect. Hey, scaring people isn't funny, Grandma. I must have heard you wrong. Aren't you the ones who said you weren't afraid of anything? That's just a little taste of what you're gonna find when you get there. It could be a rough ride. I suggest you fasten your seatbelt. Good luck, you guys. You hold me. As long as we turn around and back away slowly, right, Oscar? I'd love to stick around to find out, but I'm allergic to dinosaurs! Come back here, you deserter! Whoa! Oh, dear. Whoa! I hope he isn't hungry. If he starts chasing us, this raft won't go fast enough for us to get away, no matter how hard we roll! Dinosaurs have short memories. With any luck, he's forgotten all about us! Whoa! Oh, 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 Hey, it was just a guess. What do we do now? Just leave him to me. Wait, Koki, he's too strong. You don't stand a chance, Koki. Listen, you get out of here. Go on, scram. Be careful, Koki. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Huh? Gosh, where'd he go? Probably right under us, planning his next move. Oops, wrong again. Oh, help! Get me out of here! What are you waiting for? If you don't do something, I'm gonna be dinosaur food! Get me out of here! Hey, what do you know? I think he's friendly. Good dinosaur, nice dinosaur. You don't want to eat me, do you? I got you, Koki. Yeah. He just wants to be friends. Well, if you ask me, that's a pretty funny way of being friendly. Take my advice. Never say no to a dinosaur. You're just a big baby, aren't you? I think it'd be a good idea for us to get out of here before this big baby's mother comes looking for him. He's a cute little fellow, but if his mama sees us... <laughs> <laughs> Create those geysers, and that's where it's coming from. 
I think you're right, Koki. You see that smoke up there? I think it's about to blow! Watch out! <laughs> made humans run and birds fly, and I never argue with her. <laughs> Sorry, gotta fly. Uh, nice to see you. Hey, what the... Don't friends die. Now! We must take strange ones to Guma right away. He decide what to do with them. It is true, Guma. I saw with my own eyes. The strange ones floated through the river of fire on a dinosaur filled with air. I gotta admit, that's just what we did. Uh -huh. Silence, I, Guma, command you. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing adventures will be right back. Hey, troops, the new Marco Machines Battle Zones are here. Blow up enemy bridges, whip up those runways. Crash the tower! New Micro Machines! Battle with more missiles, more explosions! More Battle Zones action! New Micro Machines Battle Zones play sets and vehicle collections, each sold separately. Last Pony Tiny's Diner buys lunch. I'll cruise through the highways and byways, Wildcat Canyon. I'll take the shortcut through Colonel Cobb's farm. Oh, no! Drawbridge is up! Tiny's Diner, you're buying! Think big, play small. New Micro Machines, highways and byways, and vehicle collections sold separately. Wow! I just got this crazy craving for honeycomb, honeycomb, me one, honeycomb, honeycomb. You too? The baby just got me. Sweet and crunchy, sweet and crunchy. Honeycomb so sweet and crunchy like toasted honey. Toasted honey. Yeah. Yeah. Me one, honeycomb. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, let's oh, get some honeycomb. Oh, oh, oh. Honeycomb cereal is an irresistible part of this complete breakfast. Honeycomb. <laughs> I call the right. This is Tarzan, the true power of Earth and beyond. With Mighty Numa, Tarzan calls the light to save the great jungles from the leopard men and their fiendish ruler, Kerchak. Only Tarzan has the power. But will good triumph or will evil? Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle, with awesome adventure disc. And now we return to more amazing adventures. It's very strange. How can it look like bird and speak like man? He's a special kind of bird, a rare breed that's hard to find. Ah, he's special. Then he have honor of being first into swamp to satisfy hunger of the bad one. What if I wanted a recommendation? I want to submit it a resume. That one go next. We save others till next full moon when big oh. one. Huh? Bad one need food. Yeah, he's a giant! I've never seen anyone so big! Wait! 
We must fight back! Need many to satisfy Big Bad One now! Get them! Ah! All those poor people! We've got to help them! Puma, now your turn to die. Just hold on right there, fella! I've got something to show you! Watch! Send your muscle-bound ape! I'm warning you! Leave her alone! You dare challenge Bonk? I smash you into itty bitty pieces! No piece of wood in the world as strong as my feet! Stop him! He took my Gumela! <laughs> What's going on here? Why in the world would they kidnap your little girl? They take Gumela so they can give her as tribute to Big Bad One, and then he no longer angry with them. Why are you so scared of him, Guma? Yeah, just who is this Big Bad One? Man-eating dinosaur big as mountain. What? Huh? Oh, no! Oh, no! We'll never see Gumela again. Guma's youngest child, that good. That make Big Bad One happy, not angry anymore. If Big Bad One happy, he won't attack camp and we be happy too. Bonk, uh. we must go now. Big Bad One be here soon. You two find place to hide. He only talked to Bonk. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hail, mightiest one! You are biggest and baddest of all! All things fear you, O oh, most powerful one! Hear me, big bad one, and take gift from Bonk! <laughs> Why Big Bad One still angry, Bunk? You said Big Bad One be happy now. Big Bad One say he want home delivery. We take child to swamp, then he be happy. This lizard's home, and of all lizards, Big Bad One's strongest. Oh, is that the one that keeps attacking your cave? Yes, we try everything, but he not stop whatever we do. That's why we want to give you to him, so he stop being angry. I see, and that's why those Neanderthals kidnapped your baby daughter. Now I know it was wrong to send people to swamp, and I hurt very much inside. And now poor Gumela will suffer same fate. We've got no choice. We've got to save Gumela. We'll show those Neanderthals no mercy. We'll do what we can, AJ, but remember, those Neanderthals are pretty tough customers. We're as tough as they are and a whole lot smarter. Good point, Koki. Here's the plan. The first thing you got to do is find some slender saplings and cut them down. 
And I'll need a hard rock to use as a chisel. Men worship dinosaur and stupid. We must hurry or big bad one get angry. I have come with gift for big bad one. I give you Gumela, Guma's youngest child. She's yours now, almighty oh one. Oh yeah, I want a bet. What? Go on, get them. <laughs> Understand, Carlos? Why are you making a wheel? How is that gonna help save Gumela? What she mean by wheel? I know you both have a lot of questions, and I promise they'll be answered soon. Okay? you back, Gumela. Mother and father worry so much. As much as I hate to say I told you so, you gotta admit, the very first wheel ever seen by man was a... Huh? <laughs> 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 Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you guys when it's time to give up! <laughs> Let him get you, Gumela. Hey, take me! I see a lot more filling. I'm much bigger than she is. Mariana, don't. He's dangerous, you know. called teamwork and it's even more important than the wheel Yay! if you want to be friends you gotta begin somewhere and I'd say you got a pretty good start Yay! how about a good ending sometimes that's even more important than a good start like for instance right now you don't want to stay in this time and live in a cave for the rest it's too drafty, and you never know when a dinosaur might decide to drop in for lunch. I knew Carlos would want to come back. Oh, well, better luck next time. Amazing adventures will be right back after these messages. When you got play oh, wow. anything goes. Down. 
down in the dungeon in my science lab. I create glowing monsters that'll drive you mad! Mad Monster Creator, it'll fill you with fright! Mad Monster Creator, they're a monstrous sight! When I fill them with dough, they come alive! But you're in for a shock! There's a skeleton inside! I create a monster! Yeah. Yeah. Anything goes! Whoa! With Play-Doh! Play-Doh's Mad Monster Creator and Multicolor Glow-in-the-Dark Six-Pack, each sold separately. Come drive with me and get a neat surprise. The new Barbie Mustang. <gasps> stretching out before your eyes. Wow! Our Mustang is cool like never before. Stretching out till it fits four. With so much room for so much fun. Our good times have just begun. Yay! The new Barbie Mustang. Bringing everyone along. The Barbie Mustang. You can stretch it from two seats to four to carry more friends. Dolls and other play pieces not included. I can feel a crazy craving for honeycomb. Honeycomb, honeycomb, me want honeycomb. I know the feeling. It's so sweet and crunchy. Crunchy. Like toasted honey. Toasted honey. Let's get some. Honeycomb. Honeycomb cereal is an irresistible part of this complete breakfast. Got a crazy craving oh. for honeycomb. Now you can get up to six dollars off these Sega Pocket Arcade games with Honey Buck. Honey Bucks for Sega Pocket Arcade games inside marked boxes of honeycomb. <laughs> This Saturday, it's the most insulting, extraordinary, excellent adventure yet in an all-new four-part X-Men miniseries. Be there for the confrontation of the century as the X-Men converge to face off against their greatest foes. Get this chance once in a lifetime. Don't miss your chance as the X-Men exceed your wildest expectations. This Saturday, right here on Fox Kids. What in the world is that? This Saturday morning, Carmen San Diego's up to something special in an all-new miniseries. I have always looked good in red, Zach. It's getting totally weird. Hang on, our drum shoes are closing in fast. We're right at Carmen's front door. Impossible. Don't miss the all-new Where on Earth is Carmen San Diego miniseries starting Saturday morning on Fox Kids. We're back for the conclusion of our exciting, amazing adventures episode. <laughs> Just ask Carlos, he's been there. Land, sea, or out of space, you come back with a smile on your face. Take a little trip around the world and make it dream. Give the woman man. Take a little trip around the world and make it dream. Here's a little tip. Come take a little trip, man. Take a little trip around the world and make it dream. Give the woman man. For the newest fruit roll-ups continues. Finally, Phoebe, it is ours. Don't you know what that means? A creation of my very own, made from my stinky sweat sock. He's gone mad. No, Ren. Yes, yes. Oops, he's done. My man, Ronin. Idiot. It's new Nickelodeon theme-outs, Ren, Stimpy, Doug, and more. Nickelodeon characters now on fruit roll-ups. What fun fruit roll-ups will we roll out with next? <laughs> Weekdays, Fox Kids Afternoons have transformed. All oh, right. With Tasmania. Yeah! X-Men. Fascinating. The adventures of Batman and Robin. It takes more than a costume and an attitude to do this work. And the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Ready for action. Weekdays. Hey, kids, Fox Kids is cool. All next week on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Hey, it's Kimberly. It's the Pink Ranger to the rescue. Wow, and he looks like Kimberly's winning. There's a special adventure every day next week. I never know what's going to happen next. All about an exciting all-new episode next Saturday morning. Yes. All starring the more phenomenal Pink Ranger. Kimberly! I need dinosaur power now! So be here for six days of spectacular surprises. It's Morphin time! Don't miss Think Pink Week, starting Monday on Fox Kids. You're watching Fox. And now for another great, amazing adventure.
Winters will be right back after these messages. This holiday season, the toys are coming to life. Hey, everybody, it's showtime. Oh. Now they're living it up. Move, 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 move. Time is running out. But this is no time to panic. This is the perfect time to panic. And the fireworks are about to begin. I just lit a rocket. Rockets explode! Toy Story. My eyeballs could have been sucked from their sockets. Rated G. Starts Wednesday, November 22nd. These kids are the only thing keeping me from fruit delicious tricks. A part of this complete breakfast that's just bursting with sweet fruity flavor. But I've got a plan. Look, the rabbit's after our fruity tricks. This will slow them down. Tricks is fine. Not so fast. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. Charles, the proper spoon is on your right. Sorry, I prefer the one on my finger. <laughs> it's free finger spoons, one in each marked box of tricks. Hey, how did I get here, baby? It's TV. We can do anything. Brain drain. Complete NBA stats, players, teams, field goal percentages, free players, free throws. Personal stats, trading card files, three-point shootout. We got it all. Yes. So, Mr. Vartel, Mr. Basketball, who has the highest three-point average? Armstrong, Hardaway, Stark, Marley, Inch. Huh? He's new. He hits. Dave Marino? Wrong. Steve Kerr. Oh. NBA Super Data Blaster, the electronic organizer and stat machine. Prime time, baby. That's our camp counselor, Charles. He loves to tell scary stories. Really? Out of the woods! Yes, but can he tell why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch? It's spellbinding. Look out for this, Chuck. Cinnamon sugar swirl sparkling on every awesome bite. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, an intriguing part of this balanced breakfast. It's so good, it's scary. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, a taste you can see. Now you can scare up some fun with two Our Real Monsters flip books. One in each specially marked box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And now we return to more amazing adventures. Once again, our group set sail. We waited for the day our ship would be free from the magnetic force that kept pulling us back towards Lilliput and its neighboring chain of islands. Dr. Flynn had been working on a new navigational wonder machine, and we all awaited its completion with great anticipation. The time has come! around one and all and be the first to see my new invention. Ta-da! If you want to do something worthwhile, then why don't you create a device that will make this heat spell more bearable, sugar? Let's take one thing at a time, dear. First, we must find a way to break this current that has been keeping us from leaving Lilliput. Flim's worked very hard on this invention. At least let's give him our attention. Who knows? Maybe it'll work. And maybe it won't work, but I know we'll never hear the end of it until we let him show us the silly contraption. Since when have you become such an expert on science, Fosla? Say ah! now! Uh -oh. Now! Now! Uh -oh. Now! <laughs> <laughs> you and Daddy look like laundry hung out in the sun to dry! Come on now, surely you can find something that you can both agree upon, something that you have in common? I know you both want Foley to see you getting along. Gulliver is absolutely right. I'd do anything for my sweet Foley, even if it means having to look at one more of your crazy inventions. Good. Now, Flim, I hate to tell you this, but the teeter-totter's already been invented. The fella's name was Teeter, I think. <laughs> or was it Totter? <laughs> It does work the same. As we all know, our boat has had a difficult time breaking free from the currents holding it to Lilliput. We also know... Why don't you stop telling us stuff we already know and tell us something new? Fosla, if you don't stop interrupting me, I'll throw you overboard! Well, just you try to toss me and we'll see who'll be going for a swim, Flim! Now you two stop it. I, for one, would like to hear all about Daddy's new invention. Now that's one terrific daughter. Come on, Mother. Father's inventions are always good for a laugh. As I was saying, what is needed is a boost to our boat's power, and I believe the solution is right here in my mass-activated Archimedean gear-driven conversion device, which is intended to take the weight applied to it and transform it into energy. The problem with listening to Flim is that you either need an encyclopedia to understand him or a blanket to take a nap. What I think Flim is saying is if we jump on the end of the teeter-totter, then his invention will turn the action into the energy necessary to move our ship. That is precisely the concept. Well, why didn't you explain it to us like Dr. Gulliver just did? 
I say we try it out now and see if it works. Go ahead, Gulliver. This is a giant moment in the history of naval history. Are you ready to go? I'm as ready as I'll ever be, Doc. Then the time is now, Dr. Gulliver. One giant leap on the teeter and we should be tottering away. Go! Whoa! My invention was quite a success after all. That's huh? if success means knocking Raphael off the boat. <laughs> Raphael's overboard? Help me, Dr. Flynn. Please don't leave me out here in the water. Help me. <gasps> we'll have to change course to rescue the boy. Gulliver will have to turn the boat around. Hey, Fosla, where is Gulliver? Father! <gasps> Whoa. Whoa! He's over here! Help! Help! Don't leave me! Come back! Oh, Father, is no, he... Folia, I can see him breathe. Darling, but he's knocked out, unconscious. But what are we gonna do about poor Raphael? We have to turn back. Not without Dr. Gulliver to help us, we can't. Let's see. I'm afraid we're going to have to say goodbye to our friend Raphael for now. <laughs> Boats disappeared and there's no hope now that they'll rescue me anymore. Oh, please don't let me be eaten by a shark. Not a shark. No. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> wow, a dolphin. My name is Raphael. Now, if you could just take me to a nice dry island. Oh, oh. Hey. I wonder if I said something wrong. Oh, 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 oh. This is amazing. Maybe I should ask them to bring me some buried treasure and a beautiful mermaid. Huh? Oh, I guess you're right. I should just be glad you guys came along and saved me from all those hungry old sharks. Huh? Where are we now? I guess we're heading toward land. Thank you, guys. That was a nice ride. This is great. It looks like a perfect place for me to wait to be rescued. Hmm, I wonder if anybody lives on this island. Wow, I'm not alone. That means I'll be taken care of here. Oh, 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 Welcome to our land, O oh chosen one who has come forth from the sea. Uh, uh, uh. Hey! Wait for me! Come back! Come and see who's here! Aye, aye, aye. What strange language! Do you think we'll be able to understand him, Count Levoy? I certainly hope so, Norfus, for he is destined to be our new king. Are you guys talking about me? Oh, my king! Oh, how long we have waited for this glorious day! Our king has come at last! At last he has arrived! Are you sure you're talking about little old me, King of the Klutzes? <laughs> well, then what are we waiting for? Lead on to the party, boys! Yay! Oh, hey! Hey, first the dolphin ride? Now this! What a day! It's almost impossible to believe that Raphael could have swum all the way to that island. 
If there's even a chance that he made it, then it's our duty to investigate. Even if he did make it there, what kind of torture could he be enduring if the natives are unfriendly to the poor boy? And so the four of us decided to save Raphael. As his friends, we knew we had to rescue him from any possible disaster he may have encountered, any torture he may have been forced to endure. Cooler, Your Majesty? Please, Belladonna, no more food. I'm quite full. But I am thirsty. Would you desire that we dance for you some more, King Raphael? Both you beauties have danced so much for me this evening. I've grown quite dizzy from the sight of it. <laughs> Excuse me, Your Majesty. But the law demands we turn this over to you. Men? These are yours, Your Highness. All mine? Ah, well, I suppose if the law demands it, it must be so. Belladonna, I've changed my royal mind. Could you please pass me a banana, as I've decided I am hungry now? Yes, Your Majesty, I will get you that banana. Now. Allow me. King Raphael will peel the banana himself. Uh, even brilliant kings like myself need our exercise. <gasps> <laughs> thank you, thank you, one and all. It's really nothing. Any great king would have done it for his admirers. <laughs> ha! You're all too kind. I'd like to thank my... Where is he? Huh? Where is this King Raphael? Would somebody tell me what's going on? It's Zadar, the island wise man. Move it! Are you sure he isn't the island wise guy? Stand back, all of you! This is between him and me. <gasps> it's an honor to be visited by Zadar. Great, but why has he come here and what does he want from me? Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing adventures will be right back. Why is my brother searching the doghouse? Why is he on the roof? Well, I'm here with a delicious egg and waffle, all to myself. Simple, thanks to my patented Zento Lego. Just spray in some remote location. That ghosty aroma would lure anyone away, leaving you free to customize your Ego just the way. Uh oh. Guess the real Ego smells even better. Ego waffles, a part of this complete breakfast you'll want all to yourself. A Lego, my head. It's the Fox Kids TV Takeover. Takeover TV by voting for the Fox Kids show you want to see Thanksgiving weekend. Ten kids will win every toy Tiger makes. That's over 150 toys, including our zone, Daytona, Vertex, and more. 5,000 others will receive a Talkboy FX Plus pen and dinner at McDonald's. Oh, I love it. To enter, go to McDonald's, pick up an entry form at this display, and vote for your favorite Fox Kids show. Then watch as you take over TV Thanksgiving weekend on the Fox Kids TV Takeover. Sponsored by McDonald's Big World. And now we return to more amazing adventures. Maybe this majesty business wasn't such a good idea after all. Oh, oh, oh. Aha! It's true! It is exactly as we have told you, Zadar. Then the legend has come true. When uh -huh. the man with two eyes comes to the land of those who have won, he shall be made king of all the island. I have been blind since the day I was born, and so I could not see your two royal eyes. I had to touch them with my hands. Forgive me, your highness. Now that we've become friends, you'll have to stay for the party. King Raphael commands it. Commence dancing. Huh? I guess I peeled another banana. Ta-da! <laughs> There's a ship pulling up at the harbor. A ship? It must be Gulliver. Someone seems to be standing on the edge of the boat and calling out your name, King Raphael. They came looking for me. Are they friends, huh? Highness? Uh, uh, no, they are, uh, strangers. They are my enemies. Yeah, that's right. What would you like us to do with them, sire? They are to be arrested the moment they set foot on my island. They are to be arrested and thrown into jail. Do as I say. Uh, wait. Come back here, fellas. Uh, halt! Uh, uh, 
These people have such ugly faces, uh, that if you look at them, you will turn completely to stone for hundreds of centuries. <gasps> oh! Yes, that's right. You'll turn to stone if you look at them. No one should ever look at their faces. They are sorcerers. Capture them and put them in the dungeon. That way, no one will ever be forced to look into the monsters' faces and turn to stone. Is that clear? We'll take care of the invaders, your highness. And so we were greeted on this island paradise by two rather large one-eyed gentlemen named Norfus and Levoy. Talk about your warm greetings. Or rather, should I say, gruntings. Not to mention, of course, the first-rate accommodations generously offered. Please, don't be upset. I, I didn't want this to happen. But if they see that you all have two eyes, they probably won't keep me as their king. And I really, really want to be their king. This is a thanks we get for sailing all the way to this crummy island to look for you. You make us your prisoners? Shame on you. It's really not so bad in here. You've got a nice bed, three meals a day, and, and a roof over your head. Raphael, you should be ashamed of yourself, young man. I am. I am ashamed, Doctor. Very ashamed. But you ought to see Belladonna and Davilladonna and all the other servants that are doing everything for me. It's great. Are all those surface pleasantries worth betraying your loyal friends? Well, I'm sorry, but I really do like being king. Raphael. This is the first time I've ever been treated important. Good, but would you exchange your friends for that feeling? If you were my friends, you would want me to feel important and you wouldn't want to take that feeling away. Just let me have some fun for a while. I'll show you what we're gonna let you have. There, your majesty! Oh! Oh, 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 see you later. <laughs> ah, Raphael, you let us out of here. Give them all the food they need. Oh, and don't get too close. These creatures have been known to be very dangerous, so we'll have to be careful. Your Majesty must save his strength. True. Your Majesty will need it when Your Majesty marries us. <laughs> oh! <coughs> My goodness, are you all right? You're choking. <coughs> Drink some water, it'll help you. Thank you. <coughs> Who's marrying who? Huh? Why, you know, you and Davila Donna and I, sire. One wife for each eye. Yes. This is only until the day of your coronation, you see, when your majesty gives his second wife to Zadar and his left eye. Ah! Sire, I heard you call. Is there anything wrong? Uh, oh, oh no, everything's perfect. Couldn't be better. Good, I was just coming to inform your majesty of your upcoming ceremony. Uh, yeah, the girls were telling me something about that, uh, but I'm sure I misunderstood. Your Highness, may I present Dr. Glass? He is the Royal Eye Doctor of the island. Hmm. Uh, 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 I think I'll go for a stroll around the castle. Ah! Oh! I guess I had a look where I'm going. Well, see you in a bit. Hmm. King Raphael seemed upset. Yes, his mood did seem to change rather abruptly. It happened when we were talking about his eye. It was almost as if he'd never heard of the legend of the two-eyed man. I wonder if that's possible. Okay, you can give me those keys, guard. And you can go now. Oh. Yes, you must leave here. See? King Raphael orders you to go. Oh? Go! <laughs> go on. That's a good Cyclops. <laughs> Gulliver, you're free to go. Huh? Mm, but we don't want to be free, Your Majesty. Now nah, we heard about your good fortune. So you know that we have to escape. But you know, we enjoy being King Raphael's prisoners. The food and beverage on this island is fabulous. You can't be serious about really wanting to stay in this place. Why not? It's not as easy getting good food out in the water, and there's a lot less work here. A few paintings on the walls on this place will feel just like home. But I thought you were my friends. We were, but now we're just a handful of King Raphael's prisoners. Hmm? Besides, the food here is really tasty. But they won't.
want me to marry those two girls and give up my eye? There are sacrifices to be made when one wants to be king. But I don't want to be their king anymore! King Raphael! Excuse us! Gulliver! Wait! Somebody locked them up and threw away the key. I'm sure we go this way. Or this way. Uh, hmm. Well... I see you know your way around, your highness. I told you all I was sorry, Gulliver. Yeah! Oh? Well, I'll give you a sorry! Yeah! Ow! Hey, come on, you! King Raphael! Well, w would you look at that? Another two-eyed man has come to us this lucky day. All our blind folks are going to see now. So what do we do now, Gulliver? There's only one thing we can do. Whoa! I'm back here with my eye! Yeah! yeah. Uh, huh? Whoa! <laughs> no one is going anywhere with my eye! Stop! <laughs> I'm back here this instant, you hear? Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Where is he? Let me at him! I'm with you, Flim! Come on! I'm right behind you, Father! Hey, big fella! Ah, little toy monsters! <laughs> Mama! What do you know? That was truly heroic! Tell me, this isn't the first time you've ever scared anyone, is it? There was the time someone saw Fosla without makeup. Mm-hmm! Uh, I'll no. show you what it means to be scared, <laughs> Dr. Flim! You come back here! Hey, come on, you two. I think we've had enough fighting for one day. Let's get to the ship and off this island before we have to fight off a dozen more Cyclops. Amazing adventures will be right back after these messages. Kool-Aid Flavor Mania is on tour! Styling in the islands with the hottest flavor combos ever. For all new island trips. Oh, yeah. On guitar, Kiwi Line. <laughs> Drums, orange pineapple. <laughs> Bass, mango berry. <laughs> Give it up for the island trip. The newest addition to Kool-Aid flavor mania. When they come alive, evil can't survive! Gargoyles! Disguised as a gargoyle, the evil Xanatos swoops into attack! But mighty Goliath breaks free! Lexington fires! And heroic Brooklyn charges into battle on the Ripping Rider Cycle! Get him! Xanatos is stunned! And Goliath flies in to unmask him! Got you, Xanatos! When gargoyles come alive, evil can't survive! Gargoyles! Goliath, Brooklyn, Lexington, Xanatos! Other figures and vehicles each sold separately, blocks not included. Ritz Bits Peanut Butter Sandwiches with the delicious taste of real peanut butter on the inside and buttery little Ritz Crackers on the outside. Who can resist a Ritz Bits Sandwich with peanut butter? Cheese. Ritz Bits Sandwiches with Cheese with the taste of real cheese on the inside and buttery little Ritz Crackers on the outside. Cheese. Who on earth can resist Ritz Bits Sandwiches with Cheese? Join the bunch. Group home. Watch Tasmania weekdays on Fox Kids. We're back for the conclusion of our exciting, amazing adventures episode. 
And so our crew finally did make it back to the ship, with all eyes looking forward to a safer future at sea. I'm really glad we made it back here safely. I'm sorry for what I've done, but it sure was nice telling everyone what to do, being a king. It'd be no trouble to turn around and drop you off. No way! It's not just that I don't want to lose my eye, but I don't know what I would do with two wives. Hey! Hi! I don't even know what to do with one! <coughs> you better run from that one, Doc! Wow. You come back here! <laughs> <laughs> show. Sometimes the monsters can be kind of scary. <laughs> but since they're only pretend, nobody really gets hurt. In real life, though, real things can happen that make us feel afraid, and we need to talk about them. So join me and the other Power Rangers for this special, Talking It Out, after an all-new X-Men, later today on Fox Kids. With the courage of a lion, there's no job he can't handle. I'm doing laundry. Watch The Tick later today on Fox Kids. And now a message from the Totally Kids Detective Agency. Would you tell just anybody your name? Hi, Dave. Remember me? We played some basketball together. I'll lend you some cash. Don't play dumb, Dave. I don't believe you're acting like you don't remember. Do you have my dollar? Hey, Dave, I just saw your mother and she said to meet her at work. I'm not supposed to go straight home. Dave, that's what she told me. Hi, Dave. What are you doing here? Do I know you? How do you know my name? Dave. Don't wear clothes with your name on them. Anybody could pretend they know you. And that's not a good idea. We didn't mean to fool you, Dave. But anybody could. Hey, kids, it's Tommy time. We have 25 Power Ranger prize packs of the White Ranger video and 3D audio power pack to give away. Watch Power Rangers May 8th through May 12th, and each day we'll give you a word to unscramble. To enter, unscramble the word and mail it to us here at Fox 17. Winners will be randomly selected from all correct entries on May 18th. But remember, kids, you can't win if you don't watch. And now for another great, amazing adventure. And then, from the field of the future, a new king will come to save the world of the past. Do 
Adventures will be right back after these messages. Last one to Tiny's Diner buys lunch. Take the Micro Machines, Highways, and Byways. I'll take the shortcut to Colonel Cobb's Farm. Corn's growing, and I'm going. I'll cruise to the Highways and Byways. Wildcat Canyon. How to be brave in this cave. Oh, no. Drawbridge is up. I'm stuck. Tough luck. Tiny's Diner, next stop. When you gotta get there fast, take the Micro Machines, Highways, and Byways. That's my trade, but he'll pay. Think big, play small. Micro Machines. New Micro Machines, Highways, and Byways, play sets, and vehicle collections sold separately. You put it together. Now it's time for the Pizza Head Show. Hey, everybody! It's party time, and we just ordered a Pizza Hut pizza! And here it is! No, it's Party Guy Steve. Well, I didn't invite him! Sure you did. And he says this party needs some real music. Uh oh Mr. Lieber, look like this! Whoa! Look out for that thing! Oh, boy. Hey, look! We have more company. Come on in! It's Officer Steve, uh -oh. and he says you're disturbing the peace. Hey, wait, wait, wait! Oh, wait! Uh, 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 somebody call my alarm! See you next time. Mmm, thanks, Pizza Head. Coco here and you won't believe your eyes A blast from the past, he's come to take my prize Love the milk, chocolatey taste of Coco Krispies But there's no way he's gonna catch me This big old guy can try with all his might But in the end he'll be taking a flight The taste of Kellogg's Coco Krispies cereal is incredibly milk chocolatey Part of a complete breakfast everybody wants With every taste so milk chocolatey Everybody wants my Coco Krispies and now we return to more amazing adventures. Nothing can keep the breeze man down. Right, you tough bird. <coughs> you must let him rest now, Arthur. Take it easy and do what Merlin says. Hey, I always listen to the team doctor. Keep applying the poultice compresses. I'll be back soon.
Arthur! Arthur, where are you going? This has gone far enough. Now calm down. I don't want you doing anything rash. Freeze is lying in there with a gash in his side from a battle axe, and you don't want me doing anything rash? He'll be all right by morning. Let's remember the important thing is getting back the keys of truth. Without them, the kingdom can't be saved, and you and your friends won't be able to return to your own time. It may be that I do have to stay here forever, but I won't go on having my friends' lives at stake. Don't try and stop me, Merlin. You know I've got no choice. I'm gonna get this thing over with once and for all. Everett! Squire Everett! Bring me pen and paper. I'm sending a message to fight. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. A week from now, there will be no moon. We can mount an assault at this point on their wall. Ah, uh, no good. Only last night they moved two archers to that position. We could never. That looks like Sir Zeke. The fool is alone. Spike and I shall terminate him. Hold! He rides under a white flag. Uh, what do we care about that? He has a purpose in coming to see us. I will learn what it is before we slay him. I am to read a message to Lord Viper in the presence of two of your bravest warlords. These be not ladies in waiting. Read your message, knight. <clears throat> I, Arthur, King of Camelot, do hereby challenge Lord Viper to a battle of honor. One man against one man. The loser shall have his army lay down their weapons and surrender. <laughs> a battle of single combat? Arthur against me? He must be mad! <laughs> Let the errand boy finish. Yeah, all men should know that this is a battle of honor and that, that, that both combatants agree to come alone with neither knights nor warlords to uh, assist them. Then they uh, should either violate this rule and they, uh, you know, bring others with them. All men will know them forever as uh, cowards, basically, who feared to fight alone. You've witnessed this? <laughs> then witness this. You tell your Arthur I will meet him, alone as he wishes. Tell him to meet me in the valley of the crater at morning. There I will battle him. There I will bury him. Yeah, well, I doubt you'll be burying Arthur, but if you so much as wound him, you'll learn that I'm no errand boy because I'll come after you myself. Let him go! Then we have him in our midst. We've bigger fish to fry. Arthur has signed his own death warrant. <laughs> You can't possibly trust Viper. Lance is right. I mean, uh, what's he got to lose? There were at least two warlords with him when you read Viper the Challenge? Uh-huh. Blackwing and Spike. Viper rules the warlords because they fear him. They won't fear him if they think he doesn't have any guts. He'll come alone. You can't afford not to. What's going on here? We're worried about you. And I was worried about you when I saw Axe cut you down. The next time, it could be worse. The last time I looked, I was still the team's quarterback. I'm calling the play. King Arthur, Knights of Justice, speak the oath. I am King Arthur. And we are the Knights of Justice. We pledge fairness to all to protect the weak and vanquish the evil.
give him one for me, man. <laughs> you got it, Breeze. Uh, Guinevere's on the terrace. I know, Lance. We've already said our goodbyes. Ha! Wish me luck! Well, no warlords in sight. That's a good sign. Yeah, let's hope so, Trunky. Yeah, let's hope so. like a friendly place, does it, Fowler? Changing trick shaped water squirters. Now there's one free in marked boxes of tricks. I just unrolled this new fruit by the foot. <laughs> it's colored by the foot with crazy fruity colors all in one roll. First there's wacky yellow. Yellow that's more fun than a yellow duck limbo in a yellow pocket out pajamas. Whoa! This fruity red! Red that's crazier than my red headed the entire day and red stretch pants on a red pogo stick. Then weird green, green that's freakier than a green Martian with a green toupee. With all the fruity colors that keep coming and coming and coming, I'll run out of time. Before I run out of foot. New color by the foot. It's foot after foot after foot of colorful fun. Come out of the fast food jungle with Subway, where fresh is the taste. From now until May 23rd, get a Save the Wildlife Jigsaw Puzzle with the purchase of any Subway Kids Pack meal. Plus, a portion of the proceeds benefit the Blank Park Zoo. So tame your hunger and help support the Blank Park Zoo. Go to Subway today. You've got to know what's happening at Fox. Call 1-800-WATCH-17. Your favorite program just got moved. But to where? Call 1-800-WATCH-17. It's the perfect way to keep up with what's happening at Fox 17. Kids Club Deal! Members only. Take your membership card into Farley's Family Fun and receive a free round of miniature golf when you buy 10 tokens. At participating Subway locations, receive a kids pack for only 99 cents. Go into Sport About for Kids, receive 10% off when you show your card. Save a dollar on any purchase of $10 or more at participating Little Caesars locations. Don't live home without it. And now we return to more amazing adventures. Yeah! Excalibur, be my strength! Oh, 
Father, he has been wounded. Points for us, Valor. Lancelot, he's been hurt. I heard your cry. We must see Merlin. Shield emblem's a falcon, Wally. He'll find him for us. Let's hit it, bird. It's time for you to fly. <laughs> Don't just hang there. Go find Arthur. You know something? I got a feeling my panther can get to him faster than we can. Let's go, cat. <laughs> you aren't gonna let some dumb bird show you up, are you? Hmm. One good cat deserves another. Hey, check it out! I think he's found our boy! Let's ride! Yeah! <laughs> oh, while handling myself, you clumsy old shit! I think so. I've got a feeling Morgana would trade an awful lot to have you back. True, Arthur. Or whatever your name is. But I won't have to do any trading. Careful, Morgana, or I'll... Release, Lord Viper, or I'll destroy your precious mites! This thing's choking me! to be rid of you. Merlin! Your 
magic is like a child's plaything against my power. The ground you stand on shall consume you, old man. Back to the earth you came from. of these games, Morgana. I think I shall turn you into a toad. Merlin cannot do anything against our warlords. They are from his own book of magic. Finish the job you began! I thought I told you I wanted to face Viper alone. You did, but I knew he would not allow this, as did your friends. I guess I owe you guys. Hey, forget about it. Look out! Well, looks like we're going into overtime. Malta! I'll slow them down. Now that Morgana is gone, I think you boys can handle this yourselves. Hey, I gotta tell you, Arthur, I'm not in the running from the back. You ever heard of a draw play, Phil? Oh, I gotcha. Yeah! Chalk up one for the good guys. Merlin! Well done, Arthur. Correct me if I am wrong, but isn't this game called bowling? <laughs> to Camelot! We'll be right back after these messages. Introducing Kellogg's Rice Krispies treats in a box. <clears throat> May we suggest when satisfying your craving for the chewy, mm -hmm. marshmallowy, mm -hmm. homemade taste <laughs> of Kellogg's Rice Krispies treats squares. I want one. Don't forget your friends. New Kellogg's Rice Krispies treats in a box. Got a craving? Ronald, you've redecorated Hamburglar's room. Hamburglar deserves it. He's been a big help at the Happy Meal Workshop. He hasn't taken a single cheeseburger for a long time. Yeah. Uh, Here he comes. Uh, Hamburglar, this is your new room. Wow. Rubble, rubble, thanks. Let's give him a few minutes to look it over. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> He's changed. So polite and stuff. He's not the same old Hamburglar. <laughs> Like your new room? It was a uh, delicious rubble rubble. Oh dear! He's the same old hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely move to a different beat. 
Monday, it's an all-new, more phenomenal showdown. We must begin before the time holes close. Kim swept into a time hole. Get him! And ends up in the wildest west. Well, me. With Zed's putty posse after her, the Rangers must cut Golder off at the time hole pass. Huh? You're no match for us! Watch the all-new Wild West Mighty Morphin Power Rangers starting Monday on Fox Kids. This is Bobby's mom. You gotta have a look. See it? All the Dipsy Tool adventures of my little man -sie. Watch my little cowboy. Catch Bobby's World Weekdays right here on Fox Kids. We're back for the conclusion of our exciting, amazing adventures episode. It's an all-new, more phenomenal showdown. We must begin before the time holes close. Kim swept into a time hole. Get him! And ends up in the wildest west. Well, me. With Zed's putty posse after her, the Rangers must cut Golder off at the time hole pass. Huh? You're no match for us! Watch the all-new Wild West Mighty Morphin Power Rangers starting Monday on Fox Kids. And now a message from the Totally Kids Detective Agency. <laughs> hey, listen up, kids. I want to make myself clear. You got to take a new picture, Lee. Watch the year. And mom and dad will search for the missing clue. But if the picture they have is ancient history, the only place to look is in a nursery. Help yourself, your parents and policemen too. Take a new picture, it's the thing to do. You can take your picture in black or white, but color's better, cause it looks just right. You should take a new picture at least twice a year. I want to see your face nice and clear. Help yourself, your parents and policemen too. A new picture if I were you. I'd snap a new picture if I were you. I'd snap a new picture if I were you. I'd snap a new picture if I were you. I'd snap a new picture if I were you. I'd snap a new picture if I were you. I'd snap a new picture if I were you. I'm Odd Stoner. How do you think they cram all that gram taste into Golden Grams? Okay. There's this island of giants. And these cargo planes drop huge bales of graham crackers. And these giants crush them into those little squares. So they're like, packed with graham taste. Touch with a dab of hot cream. Golden grams are bought of this complete breakfast. <laughs> this is serious, serious. Man, you two dudes are huge. Golden grams are crammed with grams. And now for another great, amazing adventure. Jump in the ring, destiny comes, together as friends. We'll get the little princess queen of fear and the jewel riders. The sun and the moon will show us the way. With love in your hearts, come join us today, princess. will be right back after these messages. 
with the courage of a lion. There's no job he can't handle. I'm doing laundry. Watch The Tick later today on Fox Kids. The evil General Blitz has captured the airfield, so G.I. Joe sends in Sergeant Savage in the new Grizzly Assault Vehicle. Armed with double high-tech warheads, charging into battle. Fire! The awesome G.I. Joe Grizzly turns Blitz's iron army into scrap. And Savage pilots the ferocious P-40 Warhawk with propeller sound and light-up Gatling gun. General Blitz meet major defeat. P-40 Warhawk comes with pilot Sergeant Savage, batteries not included, other figures and vehicles each sold separately. Experience the magic, share the adventure, feel the power of Jewel Power. We got Jewel Power, Princess Guinevere, and the Jewel Riders. Led by Princess Guinevere and her enchanted friend Sunstar, Jewel Riders Fallon and Tamara must use Jewel Power to defend Merlin's magical kingdom of Avalon from the dark forces of destruction. Our magic jewels give us the power. Jewel Power. Join Princess Guinevere and Jewel Riders Fallon and Tamara. They're dazzling. When you put their masks down, their magical jewels glow. Wow. Now they've got Jewel Power. Power. Princess Guinevere, a magic jewel has fallen into evil hands. By the magic of the sunstone. By the magic of the moonstone. By the magic of the heartstone. Jewel power. <laughs> I'm evil Lady Kale, and I've captured Sunstar. Let's power up our jewels to save her. We got jewel power. Sunstar is free, and the jewel power is yours. Only with Princess Guinevere and the Jewel Riders. Now with purchase, find a free magic jewel in specially marked packages. My own magic jewel. Jewel power. And now we return to more amazing adventures. I love craft fairs. Time to go to work. Not that old sword in the tree trick again. Silence! Just for once, I'd like to be in control of some real magic. Ah. Ah. It's just a joke. Hi, Gwen. Sunstar? Hello, Drake. Hi, Thunder. Gwen, I was wondering, there's gonna be this dance tonight. Nothing really, I... It's the social event of the season. Oh, uh, well, in that case, maybe we could go together. <sighs> it is so typical of you, Drake, to wait until the very last minute to ask me. You're right, I'm sorry. Princess, Princess wait. wait! No hard feelings? <gasps> very funny. It was just a joke. One of these days, your joke's going to backfire on you. Oh, hi! Hey! Good to see you, Tamara. Uh, Drake, there's a bug on your head. Uh, there is. Oh! Ah! <laughs> If you've come to see the show, you should find a seat. We're going on soon. Actually, I was wondering if you'd like to go to the dance with me tonight. Oh, thanks. But I, I think I'll be too busy. Why don't you ask when? Oh, good idea. Step right up! Pull the ancient sword of Garmondale out of the tree! If you succeed, you'll get anything your heart desires! Ladies and gentlemen, back by popular demand, Tamara and the Magical Babies. Come, little ones, and dance in the light. Be done with the darkness, be done with the night. The warm breeze of springtime has started to blow. Come, little ones, ready, set, grow! How about you, fine lad? What is your wish? Uh, I'd like to have any woman I want fall in love with me. A fine wish. Give the sword a try, son. 
Son, you don't want this sword. What do you mean? Beat it, bub. <laughs> hey, where'd he go? All part of the act, folks. You, you can talk. Sure. Doesn't everyone? A forest stone. This could be more interesting than I thought. This is ridiculous. Ah, oh, you're a fake. No, no. I am a magic sword. Uh, what was your wish again? Uh, oh, yes. You want women to fall in love with you. Cool. No problem. Stick with me, kid. Guess who? <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh, I know. It's someone I don't ever want to see again. Does this mean you still don't want to go to the dance with me? I wouldn't go to the dance with you if you were the last boy in Avalon. Hmm. The Sunstone. Stone. Imagine the power here, just waiting to be tapped. Yes, Master, you shook. She didn't fall in love with me. You're a fake. I'm getting rid of you. Uh. Hey now, this falling in love stuff can take some time. She wears the Hearthstone. There's power here beyond measure. What about her? Tamara? <laughs> no way. Kid. Kid, look at that smile. She loves you already. So, Tamara, how about changing your mind about going to the dance with me? <laughs> Try some sweet talk. Something uh, romantic. Uh, can't you see on my face how I feel about you? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Bubbleberry delicious. They were supposed to fall in love with me. You're a fake. Hey, hey, hey. Women like men who are well spoken, poetry, love songs, that sort of stuff. Well, I don't know anything about poetry or love songs. Luckily for you, I do. <gasps> oh! Follow my lead. Oh! <clears throat> Guinevere, is there any name as dear? Lovely one, your radiance outshines the sun. Princess Fair, your beauty could, um, uh, your beauty could kill a bear. Kill a bear? That's the stupidest rhyme I ever heard. Now she'll never talk to me. Gwen, are you all right? Your song. Oh, it's all that stupid sword's fault. <laughs> it's the sweetest thing I ever heard. Did you write it just for me? Huh? The dance tonight. You will go with me, won't you? What? Oh, uh, sure. It worked! Yeah, it sure did. I mean, uh, sure it worked. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, now, uh, uh, let's try it on someone else. Uh, just to be safe. Someone with another enchanted jewel. Hello, Drake. Right. Tamara, only you I see. No other ones as sweet to me. My Valentine. To woo you, I'd... I'd... Kiss a to woo you, I'd kiss a porcupine. Kiss a porcupine? Are you crazy? Oh, that was the most beautiful song I have ever heard. It was? It was? Uh, I mean, uh, it was. Uh, hey, I was wondering, would you like to go to the dance with me tonight? Why, of course! Come on, kid, 
you did great! <coughs> Drake, are you all right? Something wrong with your leg? Oh, Fallon, sweetest girl in Avalon. I'm starstruck. You bring joy and love and luck. So sublime. Compared to you... Uh, compared to you, I'm purple slime. Purple slime? This time you've really done it. Purple slime? That's the sweetest thing I ever heard. It is? Oh, oh yeah, it is. Hey, say, I was wondering, would you like to go to the dance with me tonight? Oh, how could I refuse? See you tonight. <laughs> well, what do you say now, kid? It worked! You're a genius! I told you, just stick with me and all our dreams will come true. Incredible! I've got a date with Tamara at eight! It gets better, kid. You've also got a date with Fallon at eight. I've got a date with Fallon at eight! Wow, that's so great! And, are you ready? You've also got a date with the Princess Guinevere at eight. I've got a date with Guinevere at eight! Hey, this is incredible! Ah, you moron! I've got dates with Tamara and Guinevere and Fallon! What am I gonna do? Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Monday, it's an all-new, more phenomenal showdown. We must begin before the time holes close. Kim swept into a time hole. Get him! And ends up in the wildest west. Oh, well, I'll be. With Zed's putty posse after her, the Rangers must cut Golder off at the time hole pass. Huh? You're no match for us! Watch the all-new Wild West Mighty Morphin Power Rangers starting Monday on Fox Kids. This is Bobby's mom. You gotta have a look. See it? All the dipsy tool adventures of my little manzy. Watch my little cowboy. Catch Bobby's World Weekdays right here on Fox Kids. So, I'm at my friend Paul's house. When his dad said, how about Reese's for breakfast? I said, candy for breakfast? Paul says, where have you been? Not candy, Reese's peanut butter puffs. A real crunchy cereal. So he slides me a bowl. I crunch into him. Wham! My mouth goes crazy. The smooth combo of peanut butter and chocolatey taste swimming in milk, attacking my taste buds. Then his dad pops in. And it's part of this complete breakfast, too. Now that's cool. Reese's for breakfast. Battletech, are you a good enough shot to survive? Okay, here's a challenge. You're in the cockpit of a mauler. You're surrounded by hunchbacks. What do you do? Hit them where it hurts. Battletech, you've got the firepower. They've got a weakness. Hit his blast panel and blow him off the planet. Miss and your history. Battletech, take your best shot. Mauler, infiltrator, and hunchback each sold separately with figure. No crime can confound him. Piece of cake, no problemo, not to worry. No crook can keep him down. <laughs> Please! Nothing can stop police officers bonkers! Except that. Oh, bar! Catch the Toon Cat preferred by three out of our bad guys. Can't we all just get along? Hit the street swift. Bonkers! And away we go! Weekday mornings at 7.30 on Fox 17. When the gargoyles awaken, the excitement begins. Let's go! It's all new action. They're coming! Look out! All new adventure. They're attacking the castle! You are trespassing. All new episodes every Friday. Gargoyles. Friday mornings at 7.30 on Fox 17. Amazing adventures! Well, how do I look? You're gonna be the most beautiful girl at the dance, Tamara. Almost as beautiful as the princess. Oh, well. So you still haven't told me. Who's the mystery date? You'll never believe it. 
Strange, I still can't believe it. Try me! <gasps> what are you two looking at? <gasps> Something wrong with the dress? Oh, not at all, Fallon. You look beautiful. I didn't know you were going to the dance. Who's the lucky guy? I can't believe I let myself be talked into this. It's kind of weird. <laughs> who? Who? Well... I'm going with Drake. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's sweet. Drake! Uh-huh. Who are you guys going with? Drake! <gasps> I don't get it. It's another one of his stupid tricks. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. Girls, girls, girls. I've got a better idea. You gotta help me, it's this talking sword. It's the cause of all the trouble. A talking sword? You expect me to believe that? Watch. Say something. I can't hear you. Speak up. Talk, you piece of tin. Give me a call if I get any messages. Wait! What am I gonna do? Oh no! Remember, son, a moving target is harder to hit. It's showtime. <laughs> Drake, darling, do have a seat. Uh, gee, you look nice tonight, Gwen. How kind of you. Now close your eyes. Don't be shy. Come closer. Oh, look, it's Lord Batten. I must go say hello. But be sure to save the next dance for me, Drake. Mm. Wow. You're doing great, Romeo. Come on. Now's our chance. <laughs> Tamara, gee, you look beautiful. Come closer, Drake. Don't be shy. Dance with me, Drake. Yes! You promised the princess the next dance, dummy. We got our amps, Gray. What's the matter? Uh, I, I just remembered. Um, uh, Thunder's double parked. I'll be right back. Drake, are you all right? Uh, fine. Oh. Good! I've been giving this a lot of thought ever since you sang me that beautiful song. Oh? And I think... We should get married tonight! Married? Tonight! Uh-huh, we can elope! It will be so romantic! Oh, please say yes, my little Drakester! Oh no! Yes, yes, yes! The Moonstone! How great could it be? Meet me in the square at midnight. We're going to be so happy! Ah! Dance the tango with me, Drakey. Ah! The dance of love. a lot of thought. Oh? I think we should elope. Tonight, what do you think? Yes! A thousand times, yes! Meet me in the square at midnight. <laughs> ah, my little drink cake. I can't hold back these feelings any longer. We should get married tonight! Oh no! We the see Yavol! Wunderbar! 
I don't even want to marry one girl. Stop it, you big baby. You're not gonna marry one girl. I'm not? No, you're gonna marry three girls. <laughs> Oh no! <gasps> ah! I don't even know which one it is! What's the difference? They're all great girls! <laughs> Whoa! Do you take this man to be your awfully wedded husband? Do you take this bride to be your awful wedded wife? Yow! I take that yow to mean yes. Congratulations! You may kiss the bride. tricked me! Yes, just as you tricked us. Oh, she's such a pretty pig. Aw, oh, Drakey, what's the matter? Can't take a little joke? No one makes a fool of me. Someone's gonna get married tonight or else. It talks? <laughs> Let the wedding begin! Wait, I... I don't even have a wedding ring. Check your pocket. I'll marry the sunstone. I'll marry the moonstone. I'll marry the heartstone. out of our enchanted jewels. Well, if it's magic it wants, then it's magic we'll give it. We need jewel power. By the magic of the sunstone. By the magic of the heartstone. By the magic of the moonstone. All right, Sir Sword, we'll give you magic. Magic! More! More! I add the magic of the forest stone. That's enough magic for right now. No! Drake? You're not done with me yet. I may be small, but I'm persistent. No, you don't. Ha! It's about time somebody got me out of there. Uh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Oh. I hope it hasn't caused you too much trouble. Uh, did he? Uh, trouble? Why, no trouble at all. How about you, Tamara? Well, as a matter of fact, we enjoyed having it around. How about leaving it here with us for a while? Please don't do that. No, no, that's all right. You can take it with you. No, no, please. No, no. Amazing adventures will be right back after these messages. Ritz Bits Peanut Butter Sandwiches with the delicious taste of real peanut butter on the inside and buttery little Ritz Crackers on the outside. Who can resist a Ritz Bits Sandwich with peanut butter?
Fritz Bits Sandwiches with Cheese, with the taste of real cheese on the inside and buttery little Ritz crackers on the outside. Who on earth can resist Ritz Bits Sandwiches with Cheese? Kool-Aid Flavor Mania is on tour. Styling in the islands with the hottest flavor combos ever. For our new island trip. On guitar, Kiwi Lime. Drums, orange pineapple. Bass, mango berry. Give it up for the island twist. The newest addition to Kool-Aid Flavor Mania. Join the bunch. Group hug. Watch Tasmania weekdays on Fox Kids. On the Power Rangers TV adventures, the bad guys act pretty scary sometimes. But they're only pretend, so nobody really gets hurt. In the real world, though, real things can happen that make us feel frightened. And we should talk about them. So join me and the other Power Rangers for the special Talking It Out right after an all-new X-Men next on Fox Kids. We're back for the conclusion of our exciting, amazing adventures episode. Next Saturday, Venom. It's the spine-tingling conclusion of the Alien Costume Saga. Venom will tell the whole world who I am. Does Venom have the power? We bond to destroy Spider-Man. Ready for your close-up? No! Find out on an all-new Spider-Man next Saturday on Fox Kids. Now a message totally for kids. on this kooky spiraling spoon. One free in each marked box of Cocoa Puffs. It's really chocolatey. And now for another great, amazing adventure. to the team in the World Soccer League, the Hurricanes! will be right back after these messages. 
If you're like most guys, you probably don't have a clue what conditioners do for hair. Got me. But what if I told you they help hair lay right, stay in place, smooth flyaways? Conditioners do that? That's right. And there's no better time to see for yourself than now. With new Perk Plus shampoo and conditioner in one. Reformulated with some of the most advanced cleaners and conditioners out there. For much more manageable hair than regular shampoo with no more work. So what do you think? You know, I think I could get used to this. New Perk Plus. Great hair, no fuss. Next Saturday morning, the X-Men must help a mysterious mutant. I am a knight, Ola. With amazing powers. It's vanished. It's just in air. You are searching for me. Can the X-Men find him before it's too late? Stop! Enough small talk. Don't miss this all-new incredible X-Men adventure next Saturday morning here on Fox Kids. On the Power Rangers show, sometimes the monsters can be kind of scary. <laughs> but since they're only pretend, nobody really gets hurt. In real life, though, real things can happen that make us feel afraid. And we need to talk about them. So join me and the other Power Rangers for the special, Talking It Out, after an all-new X-Men, later today on Fox Kids. And now we return to more amazing adventures. Dino is running out of luck. What's so special about that missing photo? And would he sell out the team to get it back? got some kind of photograph. And he goes through the same ritual before every game, Mr. Garkos, which means it has to be some kind of good luck piece. We all have something to bring us luck. This is mine. Kinda cute, don't you think? Okay now. Hit it, Yorg! Pretty cool, Dino! Will you stop mucking about? Hey, Papillon! Give him your banana shot! You'd better not try that in a real game. All right. That's enough for today. Excuse me, Dino, I wonder if you would mind an autograph. Of course. Would you mind holding on to this for a moment? Thank you. That's nothing. <laughs> now, you don't need me to tell you how important tomorrow's semi-final against the Gorgons is. And it's just the first leg, which means we need to get a good lead to take with us for the second leg at their place next month. And one more thing. They are still mad as anything about the good hiding we gave them last month. Ah, when I save the penalty that wins the game, see, boss? In fact, you caught the ball in your mouth, right, Dino? <laughs> <laughs> which means they'll stop at nothing to get their revenge. And I do mean nothing. I wonder who it is a photograph of. Do you recognize him? No, but what does it matter? Can't you just see the look on his face tomorrow when he opens his bag and finds his good luck piece gone? I can't wait. <laughs> well, hi there, folks. It's Big Match Day. It's me again, bringing soccer to you from the lion's den. Yes, sir, you fans, hold on to your hats. Hispanola's where it's at. Cause the match today just has to be. Why, the football game of the century. It's so time for games. Let's go Ew, blimey, York. About 
time you invested in a new pair of socks, isn't it, mate? These are my lucky socks. Don't you realize that since I've been wearing them, we've never lost in the cup? Me? I just wish you would wash them occasionally. If it bothers you so much, little brother, you wash them. All right, all right, you two. Save it for the Gorgons, okay? Can you imagine what the odds are against a pair of old socks affecting the outcome of a football match? Yeah, kind of bogus, huh, Stats? Medieval, man! Anyway, I always rely on my trusty old surfboard. Will you stop going on about these good luck pieces and old wives' tales? You're going to have to rely on your own efforts, not lady luck. Superstitious nonsense, yeah, my friend? And the name's Jock Stone to you, mine hair. <coughs> For luck. There it is, and over it goes. Where it stops, nobody knows. And how about that? That's okay, cause Georgie called today. We'll play it our favorite end. You can kick off. Now, what could Dino be looking for, I wonder? <laughs> Sorry as you will be if that goal costs us the game. Now come on, all of you, get it together, will you? And in the second half, let's start playing football! Isn't it bad enough that you gave the worst performance of your entire life without making things worse by brawling? 
Look, he tried to make a fool of me, okay? Then he shouldn't have bothered, should he? Because it seems to me you needed no help in that department. Now, I'll ask you one more time. What was wrong with you out there today? I told you I don't know. In that case, you leave me no choice. Consider yourself dropped for the second leg. That's crazy, Jock. You can't be serious. Oh, I, I'm deadly serious, Amanda. Jock, you can't play a rookie goalkeeper against Gorgons on their home turf. It's crazy. Not half as crazy as playing one who's completely off form. Great players like Dino don't just suddenly lose their touch, Dribble. There just has to be more to it than that. <coughs> now, according to Georgie, Dino said he was going fishing. His favorite spot is Black Pearl Cove. <coughs> Let's go talk to him. But he doesn't seem to be fishing. I wonder who that is. <gasps> oh no! It's that Gorgon Creep! <sighs> Quiet, Dribble. Dino! I don't believe it. I've seen it with my own eyes. And I still don't believe it. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing adventures will be right back. What's it like to experience Skittles? The combinations. Combinations of fruit flavor. In every bag of Skittles bite-sized candy. It's a wallop of fruit. A wallop? A wallop. Lemon, lime, and grape. So this would be a fruity bop shoe bag. Now add an orange. And it's a ting tang. Bop shoe bag. Every Skittles combination is a new experience. A patty whopper. A double dodecathon. A fruit. How do you describe a Skittles experience? You decide. Taste the rainbow of fruit flavors. It's a fruit kerfluffle. Every time. <laughs> It's Cool Tools time! Wow, the Cool Tools Power Workbench! You've got your own workbench! Cool Tools, Super Saw and Wrench! Cool Tools, cool, cool, cool! Cool Tools! Listen to this! It's the Cool Tools Power Workbench with built-in sounds. Two super tools, even a work light. You can get more Cool Tools, too. We got power! Cool, cool, cool! Cool Tools! The Cool Tools Power Workbench comes with everything here. Of the tools sold separately, batteries not included. A McDonald's Happy Meal. Come on, I'll make one specially for you. Okay. Now you could have lunch with a lion or chat with a chimpanzee because McDonald's has gone a little wild with the amazing wildlife Happy Meal. There are eight lovable, huggable stuffed animals in all, one with every Happy Meal you buy. It's a jungle in there. Join the bunch. Group home. Watch Tasmania weekdays on Fox Kids. And now we return to more amazing adventures. Nice company you're keeping these days, Dino. Look, it's not what you think, okay? Well, tell me about it. It all goes back to Roma, okay? When I was just a little bambino. And the person I love most in the world is my big brother, Tony. Everybody knows that one day he's gonna be a big football hero. And he would have too, I guess. If it hadn't been for his stupid kid brother, Dino. So one day, Tony gets picked to play for young Italy. It's the biggest day of his life, see? The start of a wonderful career. So, naturally, I wanted to see him play, yeah? Only easier said than done for a little guy like me. Take my hand. 
but he broke his leg and he never played a soccer again. That's awful, Dino. I never forgive myself. But you know something? That Tony, he never once blamed me. He said it was a kind of crazy thing he used to do himself when he was a little kid. So, this photograph the villain stole was of your brother, right? Yes, my only copy. The day I leave to become apprentice footballer, he gives it to me. For luck, he says. And see what happens the first time I go onto the field without it? I play the worst game of my life, yeah? But this still doesn't explain what you were doing meeting with the Gorgons. I get the anonymous phone call telling me if I wanted the photo back, be at the Black Pearl Cove. And it was only when he got there, he realized it was Garkos he was meeting. So what did they say to you? That if I wanted to see my photo again, I had a better make sure we lose the second leg on a Garkos next huh? month. So what did you say to them? I told them I'd think about it. What? Because huh? if I hadn't, I'd have ended up like a shark meat, right, boss? Besides, I already knew that you dropped me from the team for the second leg. I think he should play. Are you crazy? Without my lucky photograph, I'd be useless anyway. Then we're just going to have to get your photo back, aren't we? <laughs> Now remember, we're pretending to be a film crew here to interview Garkos, so act like one. Ooh, yes! That's exactly what we're looking for. First of all, those eyes, I think. <gasps> ah, ah! Sorry, Mr. Garkos. Just get on with it, fool! Why, certainly. Coming right up. Oops! <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Garkos. Now that's strange. It isn't even locked. But this is it, though. It must be. Where are the rest of the camera crew? All of you, out of here immediately! Okay, guys, it's a wrap. <laughs> but this isn't my photograph. It isn't? I never saw this kid before in my life. For you, Amanda, special delivery. It's from Garkos! A videotape! Well, Hurricanes, you really think I didn't recognize you? Then you must think I'm as stupid as you are. Oh, and by the way, was this what you were looking for? Gorgons next month. In fact, I never play soccer again, ever! I want you to pick him anyway, Jock. What? And that's an order! If anybody wants me, I've gone to Rome. Arrivederci! Arrivederci? Rome? Looking for a family called Allegro. They used to live around here. Sorry, non parlo americano. I couldn't be so lucky, could I? Such superstitious garbage, though, Dino. Lucky photos, old socks. In this game, you make your own luck, friend.
Oh, yeah? So how come you're wearing this ah. under your shirt, huh? His luck t-shirt, boys. He wouldn't go on a field without it. So did you find him then? The good news is I found him, Dino. The bad news is he refuses to send you another photo. My beloved brother refused? Because, Bambino, I think I bring you better luck if I come in person, see? Tony! A, a gentlemen, in case you've all forgotten, we still have a football match to win. So let's go out there and blow up a storm! Yeah! It's storm time! Let's blow up! We still need another one, Amanda. Oh, and it's almost time. Oh no! <gasps> Here they come again! Kellogg can't stop three balls! And he brings on the fence and is closing in! Hey, thank you, my friend! Oh, unbelievable! Dino's taking it past their sweeper! It's hard to believe it! <laughs> He lost something on the field while you two were dancing around out there. I wonder what. You wouldn't by any chance be looking for this, your lucky rabbit's foot? Amazing adventures will be right back after these messages. Stretch and fetch are being made into pretzels by the evil Backman. It's the Intergalactic Backpack! Rebel heroes from Planet Vax to the rescue! The Backpack pump their air out, then stretch them! Claudius has extra long fingers, wrap their long arms, humongous a wide body! Press their cybernetic button to return them to normal! Need salt, fetch? The Intergalactic Backpack, new from Cat Toys, who else? The biggest family event in Central Iowa is back. The Fox 17 Kids Fair returns for its second year of fun and excitement on April 29th and 30th at Veterans Auditorium. Meet your favorite television stars and have fun on free rides made just for kids. Get your picture taken with cartoon characters. It's fun for kids of all ages and it benefits Ronald McDonald's children's charities. So make plans now to attend the Fox 17 Kids Fair April 29th and 30th. It's out of this world. Walt Disney Pictures presents We'll spend some real quality time together Goofy And his son, Max I think I'm gonna be sick In their first full-length animated motion picture uh, It's the comedy that proves it's, oh, it's hard to be cool when your dad's goofy <laughs> A goofy movie Marx? Oh, A little smoke, kids Rated G, starts Friday, April 7th 
month, we learned who a stranger is. A stranger can be a man or woman, young or old, tall or short. A stranger can even be someone you've met before. So who isn't a stranger? It could be a policeman, a fireman, a librarian, or your babysitter. It could be a store clerk, your neighbor, or your friend's mom or dad. But to be sure, talk to your mom or dad about who isn't a stranger in your neighborhood. This Shout No message was brought to you by your friends at Subway. We are back for the conclusion of our exciting, amazing adventures episode. Good sportsmanship. The ultimate edge. Lucky charms are silly, but we all have our own little superstitions. And I guess they don't do any harm. The truth is, in soccer as in life itself, if you try hard enough, you make your own luck. some new tricks. Come find me, detectives. So you better be quick on your feet. I don't pick up hitchhikers. Cause every clue. Brilliant. And super scoop. Watch out, Zach. Leads you on a course of non-stop action. Hang on for the ride of your lives, detectives. Watch an all-new where on Earth is Carmen San Diego later today on Fox Kids. The Pan-Asian community consists of diverse groups of Chinese, Japanese, Asian Indians, Filipinos, Koreans, and new immigrants from Southeast Asia. The Pan-Asian Repertory Theater represents artists united by professional commitment and shaped by cultural heritage. During Asian History Month, it is important for people of Asian descent to celebrate their culture, their heritage, and their art. Fox 5 joins the Pan-Asian Repertory Theater in celebrating Asian History Month. How do you make breakfast time a fun time? Kalabunga! The answer is Kellogg's Rice Krispies cereal. That totally edible snap, crackle, and pop puts the bounce into your complete breakfast. If you could, I don't seem to be able to help. How do you get your little brothers or sisters to leave you alone at breakfast? Incredible PJs. The answer is Kellogg's Rice Krispies. That groovy snap, crackle, and pop will send them into orbit. Wow! Steady have super mutant powers and they're taking over the city. Look there, in the shadows, it's a new breed of heroes. Super mutant Leos cutting them down to size. Super mutant Rascom spinning out of control. Super mutant Don's got a fiery temper. Super mutant Mike's making shish kebab out of his guys. That ought to take a slice out of crime. The knights aren't safe for evil anymore. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Super Mutants from Playmates. And now for another great, amazing adventure.
Mai. Diagnosis. Amnesia. Dr. X's blockade of the Great Lakes is almost over, Action 3. Vara has broken my wrist comp to sweep the lake for mines. I'm heading under now. Skullman is still in that sector. Don't forget, everyone out there could be your enemy, Action 1. So what's new, Action 3? Charges on the mines, action three. Here we go. I see it, Action 3. Now, if only I can get them to see me. Hey, Skull Guys! You dropped some explosives in the water! And it's real bad to litter! The ship action three. The Navy can leave the docks. Over and out. Amazing adventures will be right back after these messages. Stretch and fetch are about to be made into pretzels by the evil Batman. But it's the intergalactic backpack. Rebel heroes to the rescue. The backpack. Pump their air out, then stretch them. Claudius has extra long fingers, grappler long arms, humongous a wide body. Press their cybernetic button to return them to normal. Need salt, fetch? The intergalactic backpack, new from Cap Toys. Who else? Each sold separately. Ronald, you've redecorated Hamburglar's room. Hamburglar deserves it. He's been a big help at the Happy Meal Workshop. He hasn't taken a single cheeseburger for a long time. Yeah. Uh, here he comes. Uh, Hamburglar, this is your new room. Wow. Rubble, rubble, thanks. Let's give him a few minutes to look it over. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's changed. So polite and stuff. He's not the same old Hamburglar. <laughs> Like your new room? It was a uh, delicious rubble, rubble. Oh, dear. He's the same old Hamburglar. <laughs> Battle deck. Are you a good enough shot to survive? Okay, here's a challenge. You're in the cockpit of a mauler. You're surrounded by hunchbacks. What do you do? Hit them where it hurts. Battle deck. You've got the firepower. They've got a weakness. Hit his blast panel and blow him off the planet. Miss and your history. Battle deck. Take your best shot. Mauler, infiltrator, and hunchback each sold separately with figure. 
Hey, kids, if you love watching all the Fox Kids shows, then let us take over your radio, too, with the Fox Kids Countdown. Cool. The Sunday place where you get to meet all your favorite Fox Kids stars. Smooth. And talk with a special guest every Sunday. Yeah, cat. Let's eat with cat, sir. As they help count down the top hits you request. Ready to let those hits rip, Chris? <laughs> Tick, if you got a radio, then you've got the Fox Kids Countdown. I wish I thought of that. Listen up. If you're not getting all the hits and stars, call your favorite radio station and tell them you want to tune into the Fox Kids Countdown every Sunday. And now we return to more amazing adventures. So you want to be strong, do you? I can see why. You guys are sissies. But if you take vitamin X, work out every day, you just might turn yourself around. Are you with me? Come on. The first month is free. What have you got to lose? Yeah, sure. All okay. right. Yeah, okay. Let's okay. do it. Yo, action man. I need a favor. All you have to do is ask. This is my nephew, Tom. I just found out he dropped out of school. And you'd like to know why? Yeah. Let's check it out. We'll get Jacques and Natalie to drop us in the States on the way to meet Norris. Hmm. Nice neighborhood. Yeah, maybe you two ought to keep an eye on the car. Be right back. Hmm. At ease, boys. What do you want? I'm looking for a kid named Tom. I hear he works out here. Yeah? Well, I'm Jack. This is my gym, and I never heard of him. How about I take a look for myself? Cool your jets, Jack! Don't mess with this guy! All right, all right. Thought you'd see it my way. <laughs> Tom, what have you done to yourself? You used to look like a normal kid. Hey, Gunnuk, check this out. Uh, 200 big ones, no sweat. <laughs> Man, if only those bullies at school could see me now. If you'd have stayed in school, they could have. No one gets this pumped this fast unless... Tom, meet my friend Action Man. The mud is raid. Show him what gangrene gave you. It's, uh, this new vitamin. Vitamin X. All the guys take it. Builds awesome muscles. Really fast. It gives you tons of energy, too. You never need to sleep. You can work out around the clock. Is that why you dropped out of school? To work out all day and turn yourself into a muscle-bound freak? Knowing X and gangrene, there's gotta be a catch. Come on. We're going to get these so-called vitamins analyzed. According to the lab results, this is no vitamin, but a drug containing powerful anabolic steroids and a synthetic hormone similar to adrenaline, but 10 times more powerful. Put them together, they're extremely addictive. Can't stay here. I gotta have some X. I gotta have it now. I don't want to go back to being a wimp. Dr. X and gangrene turned him into a steroid junkie. No wonder Tom dropped out of school. School? <clears throat> Memory trace? Yeah. <laughs> what is it, Raid? Tom's gone! We'll never find him now! Not so, my friend. I know exactly where we'll find him. Sir, I ran away from him. Please, I need some vitamin X. I'll do anything. Indeed you will, Tom. But no X for you yet. Not until you've proven you can be trusted. Gangrene. Yes, Dr. X? 
time to implement phase two of our experiment. The double dose. Sucker over and check the police monitor. These guys are gonna be real popular. Good thinking. <laughs> nice work. Now show me what you can do to the door. And hurry, that alarm will bring the cops for sure. Okay, you did good on the easy ones. Now here's the hard part. Incredible! Doubling the dose works beyond my wildest imaginings. Dr. X will be elated. Please, Professor Gangren, sir, I gotta have some X now. Oh, all right. I don't want you getting sick all over the place. But don't tell Dr. X. He won't like it. How right you are. Oh! However, in light of the success of my experiment, I've decided to be generous. Go ahead, Tom. Be my guest. Or else. My, my, my. Fringe benefits. <gasps> Careful! Those are diamonds, you clumsy fools! Not jelly beans! Now! Vitamin X is a smashing success! When I've manufactured enough to supply my armies of skullmen, they'll be unstoppable! I'll conquer the world! Starting with Aximan and Esteem! And you, Tom, will be the uh... bait that draws them into my trap! <laughs> Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Hey, we gotta talk. Every morning I slave over hot calls to make a nice hot breakfast you love. Kellogg's Pop-Tarts. And do I get any thanks? No! Sure, Kellogg's puts in all that real fruit filling, but I make them hot, all toasted and tan, and warm and gooey inside. And when they pop up, what do you say? Cool. They're cool because they're hot. Give me some credit. Show some respect. Not the chicken. Kellogg's Pop-Tarts, part of this complete breakfast. They're cool. Because they're hot. In the construction world of the future, first you build them, then bring them to life. Technozoids. Just little building toys. All new breed, they're Technozoids. First you build them, then bring them to life. Technozoids, are you up to the challenge of model kits like Evil Scorpion? Do you have the skill to build Demon Lizard? Or build the ultimate Iron Kong? He's alive! And Battlesaurus! First you build them, then bring them to life! Iron Kong model kit comes as shown. You put it together. Other Technozoids sold separately. Batter is not included. Ronald makes it magic! <laughs> <laughs> Ronald, what's got you today? A McDonald's Happy Meal. Come on, I'll make one specially for you. Okay. Now you could have lunch with a lion, or chat with a chimpanzee, because McDonald's has gone a little wild with the amazing Wildlife Happy Meal. There are eight lovable, huggable stuffed animals in all, one with every Happy Meal you buy. It's a jungle in there. Sink your teeth into this! It's the spectacular fox hanging with the shark sweepstakes! Here's your chance to win every single street shark's toy there is, including hand sharks, action figures, and a shark cruiser vehicle! Awesome! But that's not all! You can win a family trip for four to hang out with real sharks up close and personal at the National Aquarium in Baltimore, plus $500 spending money! Uh. And 500 others will get a street shark's action figure! Uh. To enter, send a postcard with your name and address to Fox Hanging with the Sharks, P.O. Box 230, Los Angeles 90078. 
Dive in, because entries must be received by April 7th. And now we return to more amazing adventures. According to the police dispatcher, the crime scene is just around the next corner. Which way? Thanks. Hey, Prof! It's those action jerks again! Want us to stop and smash them? Ignore them! Proceed as planned! Hey, where's the door? Where'd that brick wall come from? Trust me. Just keep driving. It's your funeral. I got an airbag on my side. All you got is yourself. It's a dead end. What's he think he's doing? We're all gonna die. die! Oh, grow up! Have some more eggs! Ah! Hey, how did they do that? Easy. It's a hologram. A simple optical illusion. Some optical illusion. You know, Dr. X and Gangrene are beginning to try my patience. <sighs> are you sure we shouldn't get Jack and Natalie involved? Nah, we can handle this. Let's blow this joint. Ready, team? Fire one! Well, looky here. A rat hole. Plenty big enough for the world's biggest, nastiest rat. Whoa, whoa, boy! Hey, Action Man, I think Raid smells a rat, too. Aha! Hologram projector. And there's the track for the sliding brick wall we just blew up. The one that ruined our car. Someone's coming! Whoa! Anybody home? Huh? Hey, big boy. Want to try your luck with Raid? <laughs> no? Thought so. Want to take your buddy and get out of here? Yes. Muscle heads! They're worthless when the chips are down. I hope you have something better planned for our friends. Yes, I do. Our first team of Super X Skullmen are about to make their debut! Let's get extreme! PA system as soon as the doors are down. Fire three! Fire four! Action man's in the lab! Warning! Evacuate now! 
This laboratory has been targeted by an incendiary missile. Repeat, warning. Blast him! He knows I'd rather destroy the lab myself than take the chance he's bluffing. You want vitamin X? Are you ready to earn it? Once a weakling, always a weakling. No matter how strong you get. Okay, here's the plan. If my bluff works, he'll destroy the laboratory himself. <laughs> Luckily, he doesn't know I'm out of missiles. Uncle Nook? Is that you? Sure is, Tom. I came as soon as I got your call. Go! Go away! It's a trap! I'm very disappointed in you, Tom. I'll deal with you later. Well, Nuck, nice of you to join us. But where is Action Man? We can't start without him. Oh, I'm right huh? here. What do you want, X? In return for making me destroy my laboratory, I'm going to pour the last of my vitamin X concentrate into this reservoir. Contaminating the city's water supply, turning every man, woman and child, every cat and dog who drinks it into an X addict. So as I destroy you, let your last thought be, it's all your fault. Get him, Raid. The Beaker! Let go! Oh! Oh! My bionic hand! I hope you choke on it, you miserable, flea-ridden cur! You'll pay for this action, man! Skullman, retreat! Good boy, Raid! Here, fetch! Gotta hand it to old Raid. He saved some lives tonight. So did you, Tom. Quite a catch. Thanks, Action Man. Here, take it. I don't care how much I want it or how sick I get, I never want to see this stuff again. <laughs> oh, that's the Tom I know and love. Come on, nephew. We got a date with a detox center. Gonna get that X out of your system. You'll find out you can build plenty of muscles without steroids. Not only will you be healthier and better looking, you can stay in school too. Load action memory file. Loading. Activate virtual memory scan. Activated. Looks like back to school time. I seem kind of lonely. Vira, identify educational institution. Educational institution identified. Shropshire Academy for Boys. Can you access the school's computer system? Working. There is no record of any student that matches your description. Everywhere I turn, someone has been there first and erased every trace of my identity. I don't know why, but I'm going to find out. Vira. Safe file and exit. Amazing adventures will be right back after these messages. Honey, that Cheerios may look little, but the taste is so big, your eyes won't believe your mouth. Whoa, that's big. Oh, they look small to us. Can you see? Honey, that Cheerios is huge. Those who think it looks small say, I. Ah. Honey Nut Cheerios looks like a little low, but it's packed with a big, sweet Honey Nut taste that's part of this complete breakfast. Your eyes may say... Small, absolutely, yeah. But your mouth says... Yeah, ho, ho, ho. Honey Nut Cheerios, little low! Big taste! The biggest family event in central Iowa is back. The Fox 17 Kids Fair returns for its second year of fun and excitement on April 29th and 30th at Veterans Auditorium. Meet your favorite television stars and have fun on free rides made just for kids. Get your picture taken with cartoon characters. It's fun for kids of all ages, and it benefits Ronald McDonald's children's charities. So make plans now to attend the Fox 17 Kids Fair April 29th and 30th. It's out of this world. 
battle tech. Okay, here's a challenge. You're in the cockpit of a mall. You're surrounded by hundreds. What do you do? Hit them wherever. Take your best shot. Battle tech. Each battle tech maxed separately with figure. Sunshine in her colorful cover-up, and Betsy Bride in her jeweled veil. Each with surprises. They're ready for fun. Where do we go? Kids Club Deal! The number's home. That's right, kids. All this month, take your cards into any subway location and get a kids pack for only 99 cents. At Sport About for Kids, receive 10% off. Going to the ground round? That membership card will get you a dollar off all kids' meals with the purchase of an adult meal. At Farley's, receive a free round of miniature golf when you buy 10 tokens. Save a dollar on any purchase of $10 or more at these Little Caesars locations. Don't live home without it. We're back for the conclusion of our exciting, amazing adventures episode. Some people use drugs for all sorts of reasons. For instance, sometimes they use them to escape from life. When things get difficult and I need a break, I'd rather climb rocks, climb trees, climb mountains, practice karate, practice tai chi, practice my free throw, skateboard, snowboard, windsurf, play baseball, play football, play piano, draw pictures, write a letter, write a book, write wrongs, watch a movie, watch the news, watch cartoons. Drugs can kill you. When there's all this cool stuff to do, why would I want that? Why would anyone want that? My mom and dad 